fit in the skull next. My chair is all net, me and Jay, it's just all next. Getting back on defense, hit him with strong flex. I'm a fish you like a ref, trying not to get it attack. Can we go hard on Brooklyn? That's a promise. Watch me like a can, cause it's my time. Make you watch me like a can, cause it's my time. Switch, they can't guard me, especially side the Barclays. It's been twin crosses, I can score with both hands. Many flawless, and I get to paint like an artist. I'm a bar smith, so you should respect my handle. I see the big picture with the nets like a mantle. In the future, I see us as champs too. And when we do, I'ma do a Brooklyn dance move. The third and call Millie Rock like a fan do. And that's a bet like my parlay on fan do. B R O O K L Y G. B R O O K L Y G. B R O O K L Y G. choice every day what that looks like for you being steadfast keeping your nerves don't lose your shit with this group being tougher as a group It's my time, make sure watch me like a can, cause it's my time switch. They can't guard me, especially side the Barclays. It's been twin crosses, I can score with both hands. Many flawless, and I get to paint like an artist. I'm a bar smith, so you should respect my handle. I see the big picture with the nets like a mantle. In the future, I see us as champs too. And when we do, I'ma do a Brooklyn dance move. The third and call Millie Rock like a fan do. That's a bet like my parlay on fan do. every day what that looks like for you being steadfast keeping your nerves don't lose your shit with this group being tougher as a group Yo, United fans is the best fans. It's big fan Breezy. <clears throat> shout out to Iceman. Shout out to Dean Berry Sports Highlight. Shout out to Jelly Yo. He says, salute Breezy. Shout out to you for recapping literally every game. Much respect. Yo, I just want to say thank you for acknowledging that because this is not easy to do, especially with the season that we had. Shout out to Jello, yo. I met him this season. He had jumped on a panel. He was showing us his his Brooklyn Nets merch. One of the freshest Nets fans you'll ever meet in your life. Shout out to Jello, yo, and all the other Nets fans, including myself. <clears throat> Today, earlier, was a rough watch without Joel Embiid. 
they came in and they did work. They had the Allen Iverson, you know, honoring him and the little trophy they gave him. They said in Philly they got a ten a statue ten times bigger than he ain't never even did real sports. Uh, talking about the Rocky tattoo, I said that too. The Rocky statue and how it's bigger than Allen Iverson's statue. Um, that's funny. You know that's 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 wild. But he definitely deserved respect, man. Shout out to AI. I ain't got nothing slick to say about AI. <clears throat> he just wasn't a superstar. He was somebody that actually played a lot of games when he actually, you know, got the chance to hoop. Um, shout out to AWC Enterprise. Salute um, in the building. Shout out to A-Train. He says, yo, Breezy, you a true fan, bro. Good or bad, I respect it. And, and you, bro, much love. Keep up the good work. Of work, man. Uh, yeah, thank you, man. Cause, oh man, y'all don't know how these comments be helping me, man. Seriously, it be mad. It be mad. Like on the on the way here, like right before I do it, I was telling myself, like, yo, this is the last one. And don't get it twisted. I'm not like that when I do this. Like I'm always. For the most part, excited to do the podcast, and I always want to do it. But no lie, the temperature or how well the team is doing has me more enthusiastic or or not to do it. You know what I mean? So if we winning, I'm I'm extra excited to to how you say to get on for the recap. You, I recap. We recap fifty losses, bro. That's a lot of fucking losses, man. I don't know if it was 50 exactly. It felt like 50 though, man. It felt like it felt it felt it felt like that. It felt it felt that's the way it felt. So, you know, again, man, I appreciate y'all. Um, but I seen a I seen a uh what was it? Lonnie Walker. I seen Lonnie Walker talking and in the post game, and he was like, "Yo, I just want a home." So I can't even say that I'm confident that he comes back next year because the way he's talking, you know, he may feel like he he's not absolutely certain that he's going to be on the Brooklyn Nets. Um, throw some ones in the chat if y'all want Lonnie Walker on the team next season. You know what I'm saying? Let me let me know how y'all feel about that. Do y'all want to see Lonnie Walker on the team? Um, what about Trendy Wofford? Do y'all want Trendy Wofford on the team? You know, uh, how y'all feel, man? You know, how y'all feel about it? Um, we got my guy A Train in the building. I'm pretty sure there's other Nets fans in the building. Um, shout to all y'all. But, oh man, um, I know we had the early game today. I did want to pull up. But wind up not. I was out, uh, you know, I was chilling with the family today. But y'all like family too, man. I just want to say that, you know what I mean? Like anybody that you link with this many times, even though it's because of, you know what I'm saying, the, the, the Nets or whatever you want to say, bro, that's a, that's a lot. 82 games. Yo, shout out to everybody. <clears throat> Shit. Okay. Uh, AWNC Enterprise said Lonnie Walker for good money. One. Okay. Okay. A Train said Lonnie and Wofford are dogs, bro. That's what we need. No bums, bro. I'm with y'all. I'm, I'm with y'all. Um, I like Lonnie. I just don't know about his availability, man. I, I, I'm, I'm going to comb through this with y'all. I'm going to comb through this with y'all. We're going to take a closer look at the Brooklyn Nets, the Brooklyn Net players. Look at what they they contracts are. See who's who. We're going to discuss. We're going to have a powwow about you know who should stay, why they should stay, if they should benefit. I'm going to just. I'm doing this to kind of narrow down the players that we should keep and the players we definitely should let go. Where's Nets Press at, man? Somebody tweet Nets Press, man. 
Somebody tweet next press. He's he 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 be on top of all of this type of shit. Um but yeah. yeah. Hold on a second. Can you hear me? Can't. All right, cool. Y'all should I should be good now. I should be good now. Y'all should be able to hear me now. All right, cool. I apologize for that. Apologize for the for the technical difficulties on the audio. All right, so this is an easy one. Bates definitely not gonna keep him. Macau Bridges, we'll skip him and come back to him. We'll skip him and come back to him. Now, mind you, I want to see a 10-man rotation. Claxton, definitely got to keep Clax, man. Y'all keep talking this shit like we shouldn't keep Clax. I, I showed y'all the free agency market, man. I don't even know what y'all talking about. Keep Clax, keep Clowney. DFS, no. His defense is good, but... We're going to need somebody to uh, do what Noah Clowney is doing when he come off the bench. Uh, but I don't see how we keep Macau Bridges, DFS, and Cameron Johnson. It's, they don't fit on this team together. They don't. 
Um, I would take DFS over Cameron Johnson. But let's 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 get down to the nitty gritty. Uh, Dorian Finney Smith making thirteen million dollars. Do we want to pay him that? Hold on, we're gonna do two things. We're gonna look at the contracts of these and see how long we're supposed to be paying them and all of that. We gonna we gonna look into all of that. We gonna look into all of that. But for right now, I'm gonna say no to Macau Bridges, Dorian Finney Smith, Cameron Johnson. No, Keon Johnson. No, Jalen Martin. No. So so far, I'm keeping Clowney, Claxton, and Schroeder. Dayron Sharp for Ben Simmons, no. DSJ, no. Cam Thomas, yes, that's five. Lonnie Walker, I'm going to say no. I'm going to say no because his availability, but he's good when he's good. But when he's not, he hurt He hurt us. I, I honestly like Lonnie Walker, so I'm on the fence. If he could get 100% healthy in this offseason, I do want him back. I'm not going to lie. I do. But we'll see. Uh, Trendon Wofford, yes. Big yes. Tyreek Whitehead, of course. Jalen Wilson, of course. Um, That's me. He said, <laughs> Andre76 in the building. Um, oh, shit, we got Ray in the building, Claude in the building. He said, you're being censored? What that mean? What that mean? They watching me? Are they watching Big Fan Breezy? Like, yo, Big Fan Breezy, you ain't supposed to be talking like that, man. Big Fan Breezy. Brockwork said no one's coming to R. What do you mean? What you talking about? What you talking about, Brockwork? So for right now, Brockwork, I got one, two, three. I'll include Lonnie Walker. Four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine. That's a nine man. That's nine men on the team, man. That's nine nine players on the team. I don't know. He said no one coming to a phone trip. Um, Andre seventy six said we have to get our get back. Shout out to Andre seventy six, man. Uh, pull up if you ain't if you ain't busy. Love to hear what you think uh, was going to happen with the Philadelphia 76ers. Definitely fitting to throw in the uh, – sem- oh, no, nah, he's one of the players I didn't include. We didn't include him. I didn't include him to come back. He, I don't. We don't want that. I'm, I had enough. I had enough of his shenanigans. You know, I hope he gets well, 100% healthy, you know. I know bad back injuries aren't funny. But, bro, just retire. Just retire, bro, because you're you doing us bad. Or you you not fit to play in the NBA. You can't play in this league. You got to be healthier to play in this league, bro. It's that simple. Yo, LM, what's goody, bro? What's good, man? What's going on? Chilling, man. You know. Uh, Just looking at this, this roster, seeing who should come back and who shouldn't. And I got a lot of players um, not coming back. I don't think Claxton is. I don't think Claxton is gonna come back. Not gonna lie. I don't think Claxton coming okay. back. Um, Diop can go. Tell me oh, why. he ain't contributing nothing. Um, Tell me why. I mean, Claxton. just from just from what he just from what he's saying. I I don't know. Just from what he's saying in the media, to him talking about, I want to play for a contender. I want to be somewhere where I'm valued and stuff. It just seemed like the Nets don't really view him as a priority. I feel like some Nets fans are on and off on Clax. Like he should be here or he should be traded, but um, 
I mean, I don't know. From what he's saying, like, his attitude, it doesn't feel like he want to really be here. Like, I'm sure he'll entertain the Nets as, like, in terms of, uh, you know, I've been here for five, five damn near four years. I'm going to give you a conversation, but I don't know if he's going to resign and I don't know if they got him as a priority. Which they probably should, because we got clowny. So, I mean, if they were looking at the lineups, I think they would do good with with uh, uh Nick Claxton at the at the five, but we need to get more size. Like it makes no sense that Claxton is the only six eleven dude on this team. Damn near. Like we need to get more size on the uh from the roster, not just Claxton, but from yeah, so- Mikel, Kim, uh, whoever. Like so, somebody gotta go. Right. Okay, so you got big players on big contracts leaving. So okay, so let's let's break that down. Um, shout to Hoffa. He said hit the like button. I appreciate you, bro. Yeah, y'all hit that like button, man. Hold on. Uh, um, let's get. Well, you. I look at this. Well, I look at this huh? roster. I mean, these these dudes is like I get. We gotta get our veterans, but. I want this team to get younger, man. Like, yeah. I don't feel like we'll do bad with a younger roster. I, I know people are talking about, oh, you uh, young team, when you rebuilding, it takes long. I don't think it takes long. I think with Cam Thomas, hit with his experience, I ain't mm-hmm. saying he going to lead us to a finals, but I think if we put a competent roster around Cam, we get a play in or a playoff playoff team. When you look at the roster, I mean the teams that's in the playoffs right now, we should be there. If we had more win totals and Cam Thomas was in front of charge of the offense, I think we would be in a plane right now or or the playoffs. Like I don't think it's that far fetched, but I mean this roster gotta be retooled. Like, nah, I- this is this thing I don't know. Yeah, yeah, no, definitely. Really, um, with the exception of Cam Thomas, of course, but some of these dudes yeah. gotta go. Um, so Trendon Waffle sound like he wanted to be here. Did you hear what he said yeah, on Twitter? Trendon, yeah, I saw Trendon sound like he want to be here. There's a Lonnie that's the that's the wild card. I don't know if they're gonna resign Lonnie Walker. Um, I mean, besides Lonnie scoring for real, he's sometimes erratic. He, you know, takes some wild shots sometimes. He don't really pass like that. Like, it's a lot of, I don't know, it's a lot with Lonnie that he got to work on. But I don't know if they resign him. It sounds like he want, he want to play for, you know, contender or whatever. Um, I don't know if they resign him. Are you talking about Clax? No, Lonnie, uh, Lonnie Walker. I don't know if they resign Lonnie because from what he's saying okay. and what he sounded like in the post game. Um, what about okay? What about this? Okay, um, hold on one second, bro. Uh, I want to ask you this real quick. Um, let's see. Here you go. Uh, Kevin Ali. This is a quote from Kevin Ali. Uh, he said, I had an interview with Sean already, and then we just go from there. It's out of my control. I just love the opportunity to coach this team. It's been positive feedback I've gotten from players, my peers, the coaching staff, so it's just a wonderful thing. I think he's going to be a coach in this league, continue to be a coach in this league. I don't know if he's a head coach, but I think he gets the nod soon. Um I do think that uh, he's at minimum an assistant coach uh, in the NBA, but him being a head coach isn't a far-fetched thing. I don't know about if it's for the Nets, but um, I think he gets to look one day. What, what about you? You think Kevin Ali will be all right? Um, I mean, I like Ali, man. What he done for the team, for the – you know, what he has to work with. You know what I'm saying? Vaughn left us in a in a hellhole, but what he had to work with, he did pretty good, man. He did pretty well. Um, there were certain adjustments and rotations he had to make and adjust to, but 
he did the best of what he got. Uh, I've seen the team chemistry high. I've seen uh, players respond well to him. I've seen Cam Thomas Forrest under him. I've seen, uh, you know, just the guys responding, you know. I, I feel like he uh, – we're not going to rebuild mode this year. It looks like we're just trying to retool and get some, uh, some pieces, but – I'm not necessarily mad of, of if uh, Kevin Ollie gets the, the resign. Um, but I don't know, y'all. It feels like it feels like they might not have. Uh, it feels like they might not have Ollie on here. We might get Bud. I don't know. But, uh, I, don't know right. they I don't know if they resign Ollie, but if they do, then I feel like that don't mean they're in the rebuild mode. But from the looks of it, it look like we're going for Bud. Um, yeah, but do you uh, think he'll be on at least the assistant coaching staff? I think it depends on Bud's input. I mean, if Sean Marks and, yeah. and Mike Bonaholes are having that conversation, he might, you know, ask Bonaholes, yo, like, who you want on the on the coaching staff? And I don't That's know if Bud would love a Ollie or like a Ollie on this coaching staff, but I think he should. If he's been watching us and he's been doing his homework, I think he would want to have an Ollie on this. Uh, Man, the hell with all of that shit, bro. Yeah, that's a fact. That's a fact. Yo, say what you're going to say, Leaf, but don't try to down to downplay his take, man. Like, come on. I'm not downplaying his take, man. I think, uh, uh, listen, everything that I'm about to say. What all that? I'm coming in with all of that, bro, because I think Kevin Ali deserve. It. Listen, Kevin Ali and the youth and the youth players on this team deserve a right to come into next year, bro, and to play, and he deserved to coach them because the the chemistry that he built with this team in a short amount of time from playing play. Listen, I don't know if y'all know this, but Clowney was told that he was going to be a G League player. He was he was told that, bro. We we talking about somebody that got picked right after a. Uh, uh, What's him right after uh, 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 Cam Whitmore? Clowney was told that he was going to be a G League player. That's foul. For him to go out there and, and play the minutes that he's played and be able to produce like it and pr provide what he has provided, bro, is nothing short of amazing, bro. These, these players deserve. And by the way, bro, listen, if I'm Nick Claxton, I'm running to the front office. I'm telling them, yo, somehow, some way, y'all need to go get the Zachy. Because we need, because we need, because we need oh, a bigger body in the paint. Hold on, Big Tax guy here said, "Will you do live streams for the Knicks in the playoffs?" He he gotta be trolling me. He he has to be trolling me. And this is the dude that just came into town and walked in the wrong bar, Bruh. <laughs> <laughs> Hell no. He came into town and walked in the wrong bar. I'm a, I'll tell oh, you this. I'm gonna have. We gonna what? What I'm gonna do? In all honesty, big task at hand is all the playoff games is gonna be. I'm not gonna be focused on um one specific game. I'm gonna just go live and whatever game is on is on. We'll have it in the background, but we'll be talking our shit. Shit, we might be running some bets or some, but I, I'm definitely not uh solely uh. Recapping the Knicks game, that that for sure won't happen. But on that note, y'all could follow Nixon ish. Uh, that's my co host on KVN Run the City, the podcast. Uh, or even Blorange Tiz. He's another Nick podcast that, that be pulling up sometimes. So. I will be chiming in on the Knicks once they get eliminated. <laughs> Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, when they lose? Oh, I'm doing oh, all I'm the coverage. I'm here. I'm doing oh, all of the coverage for that. Yeah, yeah I don't I know who they, who they that. Think. That's for sure. Yeah. Shout out to Christopher yeah. King. So he said hi, Mr. Leaf. He so he's saying what's up to you. Um, what's going on, bro? But um, if I'm if listen, I think it's fair to say that Nick Claxton uh uh Holds a lot of cards, bro, in this off season. And if I'm him, I'm letting my voice be heard. Hey, bro, figure out a way to get Zach Eady on this team because we need a bigger body in the paint. 
AWNC said Knicks fans get the door. <laughs> he said, hold on, hold on. Claude Smith said we need more black head coaches in the NBA, period. Claude, the other the other day, I, well, I was I said the other day, two seasons ago when Willie Green became the head coach, it just made uh, the majority of head coaches in the NBA uh, African-American. So, yeah, we, we, we do have the majority of head coaches um, I wanted to be happy for Jock Vaughn, but that him being black and white didn't matter. We we were just a bad team, and he was the reason. I, <laughs> that shit hurting me. Like, damn, bro, that's you got us looking, you got us looking some type of way out here, man. We getting rid of black ball head niggas, bro. Like, nah, nah, we, ain't, we ain't doing that. Because if they out here, coach, well, is, if they out here, coach, is, to ask the coach of the other team what to do, bro. Like, yeah, he gotta go. That's yeah, true. from what I'm hearing, people people rooting for the Magic to win that series so that Donovan can be out of there. Oh, okay, that's what I'm hearing too. Wally, I seen Wally on Twitter talking talking that talk. Um, she definitely yeah. on. Shout to Wally. Shout to Wally. Um, yeah, so what? what Magic, so man. so the first round, you got Magic winning that, beating you got Magic beating the Cavs, or you want that to happen? But or uh, how you calling it though? I mean, I don't, I'm just rooting for Paulo, bro. Uh, he's one of my favorite players in the league. I don't really care if they beat. I'm not really necessarily rooting for them so that Donovan can come here. I can care less, but I just want him to advance. He a baller. He a dog. Our Orlando team is nice. So I was, I would probably say I want the Magic to win, but not because I want Donovan here. I'm, I'm, not, I'm impartial towards that, but. And I don't give I a mean, shit about they that. Advance, they advance, they advance. Right, yeah, but I want I if it is any team I'm looking at, I'm looking at Orlando. I like Orlando, uh I like Orlando team. I like what they you know what I'm saying, they got to offer. Uh I don't really know about the Bucks or Pacers. That series feel like it's gonna be boring to me. I ain't gonna hold you. That's no okay. I kinda I seen know. that I seen that coming because of the play in tournament. I just kinda seen that coming post. So um, if we did make the plan, we would if we did make the plan, which is funny, we would have been facing either Boston or, or, or New York. See, all we had to do was win today and did uh, uh Orlando lose because the Knicks was trying to lose that game today. They were trying everything in their power to lose that game. It's just Chicago was trash. That's all that is. Chicago nah, the Rose and missed that goddamn mid-range. Exactly. <laughs> the problem was the trash. We start, like the Knicks is trying everything in that power to lose their game. They didn't want the number two seed. They damn sure they're, they damn sure didn't want it at the expense of a fifty win season because now they got to deal with all of the all of the uh, uh, cahoots of the playing. So they can either what? face the uh, the, the, the Hawks, six, the six, no the, the, uh, the Sixers or the uh, I mean yeah or, yeah, they, the or the Heat the, yeah. Yeah, they playing the winner of that six in the heat game, bro. Whoever I ain't gonna lie, they play the heat. They they out in the first round. It's just that simple. I don't know if the heat that tough, man. I don't know if Philly won Boston in the first round. No, Man, they've been getting they spank they've been getting spanked by them for years. Nah, Philly, Philly, Philly is done. Philly, Philly, Philly is Philly's done. If if the Knicks play the heat in the first round, they are they are losing. They all losing yeah, that series. Philly versus Miami. Boston. Yeah, they are. Miami, Miami is better coach. Bro. Miami is better coach than them, bro. Like they, they, they a better coach team than them. Tom yeah, Thibodeau don't know what the hell he doing, bro. Why the hell was Devin Jinso playing forty seven minutes today against the Bulls? I got, I, how, how, how am I supposed to believe that this Knicks team is gonna go to the is gonna go to the conference finals and they getting in dog fights, man, with two uh, with two team with. And, and with two teams that's under 500, up in the bull. How am I supposed to lead that? This is the team that's nice, in the finals? Yo, I saw, I saw that. Oh, shit. Incredible. Hold on, hold on, hold on. We got, we got Harlem in the chat asking Leaf to put that bread up. For who? I guess the Knicks. You know Harlem here, Nets and the Knicks fans. Nah, nah, hell no. You playing both sides. You the come Knicks. on the side of here. Oh, uh, you should Harlem was talking. Put your chicken up, my boy. But Harlem was talking. Harlem was talking on BK podcast Harlem. about your Golden State you know, might might win it all or some shit. He, he betting for Golden State know, and the Knicks. Yeah. I don't know what he. I don't, I don't know. know. I, I'm like this nigga out of this world, bro. He must have watched like three games this year. I ain't gonna lie to you. 
Draymond Green might poke somebody in the eye before they win the championship. He um, like he was uh, his argument was yo they got experience so you can't go up against uh you can't Listen. go up against your experience and you got like these are the I'm supposed to believe that I'm supposed to believe that this Knicks team bro is 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 gonna get is gonna get to the conference finals and they get the nail biters with us and the Bulls. Come on, bro. Nah, stop, nah, stop bro, 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 fuck the Knicks. Talk about who you who you do want to see. I, I just put this up, but we can talk about any series. I mean, we out of the playoffs, so it's whatever. Um, what do y'all want to see? You know, easy. What, what do you want to see? You want to see any any team in the Western Conference? You want to see Thunder versus the, the playing team or Timberwolves versus the Suns first round, Clippers versus the Mavericks first round? What do y'all want to see? You know what, what, what I, do y'all want to see? No. What I what I wanted to see, bro, was the Pelicans versus the Timberwolves, but that ain't gonna happen. I wanted to see two dark skin niggas, bro, go at it, bro. That's what I wanted to see, bro. Ant Man and Zion, Ant Man and Zion, bro. Word, word up, no light skin nigga energy on the court. Straight straight up niggas that's gonna get to the basket, get downhill, dunk on some shit. Yo, man, stop making this about light skin and dark skin, man. We, especially Whoa, when you got what the fuck? like right <laughs> when you when you got when you got players like Vince Carter that could dunk just as hard as Anthony Edwards or Zion Williamson. You know what I mean? That was a long time ago. Huh? No, no, I'm just saying. I'm just saying. The, come on, the whole light skin dark skin thing, man. Come on, man. But um, that being said, uh, what about you, uh, Easy? You want to see any specific? Uh, first round in this in this playoffs. I really wanted OKC to go against the Suns, but uh, yeah. uh, yeah. I want to see if the Lakers going to get that the seven seed. I want to see if they about to catch our seven seed or do. Do you think yeah, the want, Lakers might want to dodge that. that seven seed? Yeah, they want to dodge that. They don't want that. I don't know if they want to intentionally lose though, bro. Like you want to intentionally they lose in the plane. They have to. Nah, have to playing, not, playing is something different, though, bro. Like you yeah. have nah, victory. I'm, I'm talking, but I'm telling you, but they have, but they have to do it. But they have no choice. choice. I ain't mean, gonna they hold have you. no choice. This is a playing situation. This is a one game. This is not regular season no more. It's a one game elimination now. You no, 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 no. You might play around with Steph Curry in a playing, bro. You want him to go off for of fifty on you? I mean, listen. They gonna have to chance that, bro. Because if if they get that seventh seed, they are swept. But but bro, all right, look look look. It's either you wanna play and hope Steph Curry don't drop fifty on you, or play the Kings that you haven't beaten since you had AD on your team. Hold on, what's up with you? I don't know you? about that, but that Timberwolves right. and Phoenix series was interesting. That shit is gonna be Phoenix. a movie. Yo, Timberwolves and Book, Phoenix. Devin Booker and Anthony Edwards. Is Two of the biggest, if I know, trash talkers uh -huh. on, that I've seen. I've seen that's just gonna be funny in the Western Conference, too, nigga. Yeah, right. yo. So who, who you got? Who you got though? Uh, I love Phoenix or win that uh, easy. Minnesota. No, <laughs> finish that easy. I don't. Finish I don't see. I don't. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I want to hear. I mean, how I like Edwards. Go ahead, I love. So, how, when you call a series, uh, well, how many games you call a, a seven game series in, in the Wolves versus Suns? I mean, it could go. I feel like it could probably go seven. I mean, it's not like Minnesota don't got playoff experience. They've been there. Mm -hmm. uh, I I feel like yeah, uh, Phoenix is more certified because they've been to a finals, but. Yeah. Um, I feel like Minnesota not gonna go quietly into the night. I like what Anthony Edwards said. If y'all recall, he said, I think it was 2023. I'm not sure. It was funny. Yo, it was funny as hell because it's not me, true. Man, can y'all niggas mute up, please? Why is this nigga LF talking? Please. <laughs> this nigga sound like they put a bag of chips in a pickle on the side or some shit, man. <laughs> I have bag of chips, my bad. My bad. But if you, if you listen to 2023, I think. Anthony Edwards said it was a funny quote, but he says something like, "I know they got a KD, but we got a Jaden McDaniels," and it was so funny. But because yeah. like if we compare those two, like them niggas not even in the same league. But just the fact that he got that confidence in his teammate like that, like yeah, we got one of the best def league defenders versus yeah. KD. I mean, he is what he is, but I believe in my team too. So we gonna go in there and be. 
you're gonna get it popping. So I like that that no back down energy just because you know it's KD and booking these niggas. Like we're gonna go in there, we're gonna give you our movie. So that series is gonna be interesting. I wanna see how they and they get cat back, cat is back. So I mean last okay. time I checked, them niggas got no type of big besides uh Yurt and Nurkic. Nurkic. So I mean it is what it is. They I ain't gonna lie, if they, 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 they hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me add to Ellen's point. Hold on, let me add to Ellen's point. If Cat can bring Nurkic out the paint, yeah, the fucking Suns ain't got no chance, bro. I see the Wolves winning in six. Right. Them mm-hmm. niggas gonna have they gonna have to and Bobo ball ball, respectfully ain't keeping up with no cat. Uh I've seen that nigga play defense. I'm sorry. It's it's close. So all right, so let me get this straight, bro. We walking into the playoffs. It's F Kevin Durant, it's F Kyrie Irving, it's F the Knicks. So all of those teams respectfully, bro, like F them. They got to go home. Mm-hmm. Early. That's what we're doing. No, I, well, mean, I, I just I like, like Anthony Edwards. I like, LM's, I, I like okay. LM's talking. I like LM's talking point about a uh, cat being back because, again, I feel like if you could draw Nurkic, their best rebounder, out of the paint to guard cat, they got no fucking chance. He, he can't be at two places at once. Cat is going to be the X factor. For the Wolves, I think and I got said the from the beginning of the stuff. season. They got no bench, got nothing to do with KD. They got nothing. Yo, hold on. I just want to say it got nothing to do with KD. KD is a player that he gonna get his numbers, but he don't always impact winning because he need just like other players. He need a uh, supporting cast. You know what I mean? So I just think that uh, the Wolves got a stronger supporting cast. Even though I heard Bill and Booker been balling lately, I ain't gonna hold. I ain't gonna lie, they they've been going crazy. They've been, they been going crazy, crazy but. but Damn, I don't know that. Listen, I don't know if that shit gonna be enough. We, I Bill might play one game. That nigga might sit up the next game for the. Three. Uh, and, and, and all, in all honesty, bro, I think Minnesota. I think they're tailor made for uh, like Denver and a couple of other teams, bro. Like I like the um this Phoenix team. I don't know, bro. It's just like because the thing is, Nurkis is not gonna have the cat matchup. He's gonna have the Rudy matchup. He's gonna have to keep him off the rebound. He's gonna have a Rudy matchup. So, so, so the thing this, is, it's really over. Like, I'm giving it a book. I want to see the book and Edwards matchup. Bro, I don't, I don't know. The best I don't shooting know, guards like, in the league. Here's, here's the thing. I don't trust Cat in the playoffs. Let's just get that out of the way, bro. Cat in the playoffs is ass, bro. I don't know if y'all know this, bro. Cat in the in the postseason is cheeks. I don't trust him. I trust him. I agree more than I trust him. That ain't, that ain't saying much. I don't mean Cat to do much. I got the good numbers. I ain't gonna lie to you. They, 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 this production they, ain't nothing they, to sneeze at. I don't bro, know why you said that. Go look at some games. Go look at Cat playoff numbers, bro, and tell me what do you see, bro? That that I'm no, missing. I'm not. I'm not saying that. I'm saying that Nas Reed is somebody good off the bench, especially in the playoffs. I'm saying that, you know, I, I haven't. Uh, excuse me, I haven't. I don't remember Cat like that too much in the playoffs to debate what you're talking about. But I, what I am saying is that the, at Nas Reed, yeah, man, he's going to be somebody that is going to, uh, you, you know what I mean? Nurkic can't be everywhere and play all the minutes. So, like, who's going to check Nas Reed when, you know what I mean, uh, Nurkic go to the bench? So, again, I, I see the Wolves yeah. in six, man. Hold on. I don't want to be long-winded because we got easy. We got Jay. We got Harlem on the panel. Harlem was talking heavy from the chat. Go ahead, go ahead, Harlem. About you got something to say to me? Go ahead, man. Dude. Get that shit off your chest. Yeah. You have you know, yeah, been talking some Nick fan shit? Hey, yeah, you know, I, I, I don't know what he's going to say. Right he's right so, right now, I don't know what he's going to say. I just I wanted to hear what he's going to say to me, bro, because I'm always going to dismiss it anyway, bro. Go ahead. Yo, listen. So, 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 like, my offer stand to any of you niggas on here. So anybody, I okay. said what I said, Nick's going to the Eastern Conference Finals, Breezy, Jay, Leaf, whoever else, you feel like the Knicks is not, we can put that chicken up. We can do a little friendly bet. You feel me? Cash app, whatever. I got the bread. So so where I come from, here's my thing, right? Where I come from, if niggas feel like niggas is that ass, then you should be able to put your bread up, right? So, leave hold, on, hold, on, hold, like hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, Let me speak. To, okay, so first off, you put me in the back. So let me let me speak for myself. For one, I, I'm uh, not saying it. I'm I'm not saying they ass 
because I do uh, I, I, I I follow the Knicks in the because of the podcast that I do on the weekend. It's called the KVN Who Run the uh, City, the podcast. So I watch them. So you, I don't know who you're talking about if you ain't talking to me. You know what I mean? I'm not saying they ask. He's talking to me. Nah, well, He's talking well, to me. I'm saying they ask. Nah, nah, listen. Nah, 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 nah. I threw you in here, Breezy, because I'm from Brooklyn. And I know Brooklyn guys don't fuck with you was just biased that you hate the Knicks. So I so that's how you in here. But if you don't think they ass and I thank you. But leave if you think they ass or anybody else in here think they ass, then just put your bread up. I'll be glad to take you niggas money. If not, then at this point I think just stop the yapping, bro. Because if I think it's Look, that ass, I'm gonna put my bread up to prove how ass they are. And I actually bro, that's and I actually that want is. To play the heat. I want them to play oh, them. because I don't I'm gonna tell you some real know. shit, Jay. Huh? I don't bet with people. I don't bet with people. I don't know. No, my no, nigga, cash at, bro. Re- respectfully, I mean, go on fan do with that nah, shit. Nah, I feel the you. Ass, I ain't that type of the nigga. Ass, I def- I def- I'm leaving it right there. Huh? That's that's what. I, that's why I'm leaving. <laughs> I'm the Knicks' ass, and I'm I feel leaving you, it right but there. But not as so they in the second seed, so it's like Yo, if we realistically talking, right? The Knicks is not that. Yo, Harlem, Harlem, your con- your content is good. It's just that your your um audio coming in kind of kind of kind of wacky. Yeah, drop off and come right back in, Harlem, real quick. Oh, I'm out of town right now. My bad. All right, uh, all right. But, <laughs> I'm, I'm, well, I'm, I'm talking to him back at you. Yeah, hold on, hold on. Listen, listen, hold on. I just want to say this <laughs> to this point because he, he came on the page. And again, I'm not mad at him for being a Nick fan. I, again, I just thought he was uh yo, can I mute him? Cause I'm I'm trying to fight over that shit. Um, the uh, I felt like I'm not a Nick fan, but I'm not necessarily. I'm just not rooting for them. You know what I mean? And if they lose, it do bring a little joy to to my net fan spirit. But at, but at the end of the day, I don't hate them or think they ass. I've been watching them. You know what I mean? Kind of not recapping them, but knowing what they was going on with them because of the podcast. And uh, yeah, you know. Like the other night, I had turned to the game at the end. It was overtime, so I chat. I peeped in. I'm like, "All right, let's see what's going on." The DeRozan, he had the basketball. It was like overtime, and it was his chance to score the ball. I thought he was going to pull up for a midi, try to do some type of euro step, and then he faded back. And you know, for what it's worth, it was good defense by Dan Vincenzo. He, he on the one on one, DeRozan had I forget who was guarding him, but he had him. Um, the team defense by DiVincenzo is the reason why DeRozan missed that last shot. And then I turned away from it because I, I, I was there to see the Knicks lose. I wasn't there to see them win. So, you know, it's whatever, you know what I mean? But I'm not even focused on uh, who they play because I wanted to see them play Orlando first round. Um, me personally, I think the most exciting uh, – uh, what is it? Uh, let me see. Yeah, no, I think the most exciting uh, games is going to probably be, I want to say, I ain't going to lie, I want to say, okay, I want to say the Thunder and whoever they play out of the uh, the Pelicans or whatever, whoever they play, but I don't know. I don't know. Uh, yeah, I want to see OKC versus the Lakers or the Pelicans. That ass. <laughs> That's what I want to see. No, no, no. The Pelicans, they would no. They can't, you can't even do that. It would have to be OKC versus the Lakers. I would want to see that. this. Play, I ain't gonna lie, bro. This I plan want to see. Got, this this plan should gotta go. The hell with all of this, bro. Like I don't I don't need two extra games for some niggas that had eighty two games to prove themselves and they couldn't prove it. Like but the like the Bulls and the Hawks, bro. Come on, man. Get them niggas about it, man. Get them out of here, man. They ain't, they ain't, they ain't, they ain't, they ain't earn the right to, they ain't earn the right to get extra games to get into the playoffs, man. Get them out. Get them, get them, get them up out of here, man. I'm not with this, this playing shit, man. Would you feel that same type of way if we made, the, if we make, if we made the plan? If I would, I feel some type of way if we made the plan. Yes, I would, but because I know we're gonna get our ass whipped anyway. No, I'm so, saying, so. would you feel the same type of way? Yeah. I would, bro, because the thing is, like, what what was we saying a couple of weeks ago, bro? Like, like it, it, it was it was podcasts that we had, bro. Like, bro, we don't even deserve to make the plan, even when we still had a chance to make the plan. 
the way not, the I, was, I wasn't saying I don't think that I think teams go on runs. They always do a, a 10 game interval and they'll show, oh, they won the last two or the last four or whatnot. You know, you, the statistics and how intricate they are right now. So, again, things change based on coaching. Look at the difference between the coaching with fucking uh, the Milwaukee Bucks and Doc Rivers and what he did after he got the coaching position. That shit matters. So, yeah, I mean, it's not to say that it matters so much that they went from play a play-in team, but they, shit, dropped from a shore being the second seed to now not being the second seed and them being the third seed. Mm-hmm. It was their spot to hold and for the Knicks to take. And the Knicks took the second seed from the Bucks. So, you know, the way the Knicks played today, I don't think they wanted that seed. I don't, I don't think they wanted the second seed. People were trying, 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 trying to spin that game. They were trying to spin that game. People I watched that next stupid move to do now. What'd you say, Easy? Yeah. People are saying that was a stupid move to do. You could have had the Pacers as an easy round. Now you got either Philly or Miami. Now you don't know who you're playing. Now you don't know who you're playing, and you're playing a tougher t- opponent now. Thank you. I mean, it is what it is. I look at it for what it's worth. I, again, any team, if, if Joel Embiid is there, that, that's going to be the X factor. You know what I mean? And if Miami, their team ain't the same. I don't think they're that tough as they was this last year, last year. But what I will say is for them to play well enough to, to uh, you know, being eighth, that means they was winning games. And, again, with them not having players, uh, you know, that they had the season before, you got to contribute that to the coaching and just the formula of how they play, play the game. You know what I'm saying? I think that's some of what we're looking for out of uh, uh, Coach Bud. But I don't know. I don't. You know what I mean? He he. The championship he got is because he beat us. Like, well, what's what's the lunchroom like? Tension is thick. Mm-hmm. <laughs> like, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. I mean, how do y'all feel about that? How do y'all feel about the coach that got his first championship is because they beat us in the second round? Like they had to get through us and and, uh, and how the Mets fans felt about it. How do y'all feel about Coach Bud being here? Where where his history with the Bucks? Does it matter or y'all just want him to be it? I mean, I, if he get us up, if he get us up playoffs, I don't think Mets fans gonna care. <laughs> no love lost. I, I I don't know. I think at this point it's bigger than that because we need to start winning some games, bro. Like it gets it gets upsetting seeing these other teams in the playoffs and, and we our all season is early. Like yeah. that shit gets annoying. Like I wanna be cheering for the Nets in the playoffs, I want the ball clay to be jumping. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like it's just they type of boring looking at other teams and our own team is not competing for no chip. Like we yeah, we had Kyrie and K D and, and that shit you know came and went, but at the same time, it's like, you know, we got these young guys. Uh, if we reach home, cool, but if we can get a coach that can bring some order to this team, yeah, regardless of how they got it, it was, you know. So so, so let me ask you this. Let me let me get straight to it. You you sitting with Kevin Ali and sitting with Coach Bud, based on everything that Coach Ali did, how do you tell him, I don't want to give you a chance? Like how do you how do you tell that man yo I don't want to give you a chance <clears throat> based on what he seen or what he did in that short amount of time and how good he is with the locker room and again the significance of me going to bat for Kevin Ali is he won at a championship level with college and a collegiate level and I said that to say if we want to go young why not get a collegiate winning championship coach if we want to get a young a young team. Don't that make sense? That's the fan. That's what the fans want, but it's not what Sean Marks and them have in mind. They trying to. They still in this Donovan Mitchell, Trey Young starts for most of these dudes is not going to be here. If if they go, if they do go after Donovan, depending on how this thing works, they might want to roster. They might want Bud here, since Bud is known for leading dudes with you know all star potential, whatever the case may be. Yo. Uh, we're gonna get Donovan here. We're gonna surround him with some talent, some at least 
not a Mikel probably. Uh, uh, Mikel probably still going to be here, but at least a, a number two or somebody that can, you know, help Donovan out. I think that should be Cam Thomas. I don't think Cam Thomas should be, like, the X factor in that in terms of getting traded. But if, you know, if they want a competent roster, yeah, you might have to make that talk with Bolden Hoser and be like, you know what I'm saying? This is the roster we got. We got Donovan on the way. Um, unless Sean Marks come out and say, yo, we re- we rebuilding, they not going to take that route with, with Kevin on. They might say, yo, uh, we appreciate what you've done for us, but we need a, a coach with experience. Respectfully, Bolden Hoser been to a finals. He led an Atlanta team that had freaking Jeff T, Cal Corrino to a, a, what they, they reckon was 60 and 15. Like, that's highly impressive. You want somebody who's yeah. got a resume like that to be the head coach of a team that's trying to reach a playoffs. All right. So, so hold on, hold on. Let's, 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 let, let, let me ask you this. Um, in any of those rosters, was there ever a dominant two guard like uh, Cam Thomas? Um, I mean, unless you want to count, I think Teague was the point guard. I'm not sure, but if you want to count Teague, they had Jeff Teague, they had Kyle Corver, they had Al Horford during that time period. Um, they wasn't, they didn't really have like a Giannis or at that moment, which was pretty impressive. But I mean, Teague that year, I think Teague, Jeff Teague was old. Um, I would have to say he. I think he was an all star. Yeah, I'm not sure, but Jeff T was. Uh, I, don't, I don't think he was the two guard. I think Cal Corbin was the two guard, but he probably there was their guard. I think he was probably the Cam Thomas of that team for him. So they went sixty and fifteen. I think. I think they were they were sixty and either sixty or fifteen or sixty or something. But they definitely was the number one seed in the East. No, they had sixty plus ones. Yeah, they had sixty plus wins. So and they was the number one seed that year. So I, I mean, if if Bowden Hoser can do that with Donovan, or if he can do that with you know a Cam Thomas, that okay, wouldn't exactly be a bad thing. But okay, I think Donovan would be the uh the main guy there that they would want Mike Bowden Hoser to work with because Donovan has playoff experience. He Every respectfully, every team you've been on, they've been in the playoffs. So, if anything, he'll probably have a more of a chance for the Donovan to the Cam Thomas. But um, he has experience. He has playoff experience. They probably will go with a Bolden Hose over an Ollie unless me tell him, "Yo, I'm I'm lessening your role to join Bolden Hose's staff." Mm-hmm. Uh, I feel like that would be a combo, but. If that ain't a convo, I feel like that's crazy because if you see what Ali had to work with as a GM with this team, you would at least think about offering offering him something, especially seeing how the young players respond to him in player development and player empowerment. You would want somebody like that on the roster. So you will have to um, give Ali something. Yeah. Um. To your, to your point, uh, they said – Buda Hoser was named the December 2014 Eastern Conference uh, Coach of the Month after leading the Hawks' uh, 14-2 record in the month. He was named the head coach of the Eastern Conference team at the 2015 NBA All-Star Game by virtue of Atlanta being in first place in the conference by the break. Buda Hoser was named the January 2015 Eastern Conference Coach of the Month at award after leading the Hawks to the first 17-0 record in a month in NBA history. Yeah. If the Nets ever started 17 and them, <laughs> yo, yo, I'm, I'm going to let you know right now, I'm going to go bonkers, bro. Don't Listen, crush I, nobody expected that Atlanta team to be, at that time, what the heck it was, bro. They got killed by Cleveland. LeBron got them niggas the fuck out of here. But mm-hmm. for, it to, for them to be what they was, that was impressive. I got to give it to, to, to Bud, man. Mm-hmm. They didn't even have like no overpowering player like a Giannis or a uh, Apollo or LeBron. Like they didn't have none of that. They just had dogs on that team, and mm. he led he led them to an impressive sixty plus win record during mm. that year. So how you, how you feel about I mean, Paul Millsap back in the day? Millsap was a dog back then. That team, for what it was, they they did their thing. I ain't gonna hold you like. I don't know if Bud does that here, 
I don't know if we a 60 win team with him here. But... Hell no, bro. What are we talking about? The, the starting five was all all stars, bro. What are we talking about, bro? I don't think you can just cut something off just because you think it's impossible. I don't think, like we said, we're judging based off just this season. I'm not saying that uh, Brooklyn Nets can't have a 60 win season. I'm not saying it's never going to happen. But um, that I don't is think it's going to happen this year. No time in the near future, bro. What are we doing, bro? No, the I'm not going to close that off. 60 though. wins, bro. Nobody Denver, thought the Nuggets was gonna get was gonna be what they were, and and when the Hawks was 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 doing their thing, I no. didn't think they the Nuggets was gonna be uh what they were. They and Mike Malone was they had coach for eight years during their losing season. First off, they didn't the take Denver, they didn't get that nigga out of here. First off, the Denver Nuggets has always been religiously a top three seed almost for the past like five six years, bro. So they been what? The, Check the standards, bro. They've been a top three since twenty twelve. Hell no. I'm not going. They've over never been. A, I'm not going. Back that's what I'm going to because around what? that year, bro, around twenty twelve and twenty thirteen, bro. I'm not going to talk. I'm talking about Nuggets right now, bro. Not the Hawks. Bro, the Nuggets was never a top West team like that. Bro, if you're talking you're about when out, Jokic bro. was a, a you rookie, right now, bro. if you're talking you're about when Jokic, uh, let Breezy pull up the standards then. Yeah, yeah, I can't let y'all do that. Y'all yeah, know I'm going to get straight to it. I'm going to go to the standards. Yeah, pull up, all right, pull up the standards from when Jokic was drafted. Not before when, uh, when, don't, when don't he was do drafted. The fir- don't do the first year because that is nasty work right there. Yeah, let's see what the rookie You have to do. Year, that's bro. what I'm comparing it to. Bro, we it, talking, it has to be the first about, year. We talking about their prime when they started hitting their flow, bro. Bro, I wouldn't see that that's what I wasn't talking on, about their prime. Work, Mike Malone was that. Mike Malone was there when he when Jokic was drafted. Bro, but it wasn't like he Atlanta wasn't Hawks there when he was a not. Win team, bro. Atlanta Hawks been good too, bro. They haven't been a top. They've been them. They was a top four seed religiously too, though, bro. It's just LeBron. No, you no. See, you're missing my you're missing my point. What I'm saying is. Mike Malone, because um, somebody shout out to Claude Smith because he no, said it right in the chat. The Brooklyn Nets they could, said could get a sixty win season. I'm saying that could never happen nowhere in the near future, bro. I feel like what? you close your. I feel like you're closing your mind off responsibility. That is insane. I don't think bro. that's. I'm I don't think that's, that's a, a nasty, far fetch. Nasty work, bro. Chuck nasty, nasty, nasty work, bro. Listen, Chuck I'm, I'm, listen nasty everything work, is impossible until you actually do it. Mm-hmm. When you talk nasty, about nasty when you work, talk bro. about players. There's a lot of shit in your in in not even just here in real life. I don't like niggas that say that's impossible because if you limit yourself to yo, I'm never gonna get this music deal. I'm never gonna oh, get that job. I'm God, never gonna. Bro. I'm never gonna I, reach these and heights. I hate like that's these a limit. Lectures, you limiting bro. yourself, bro. I hate niggas with these kind of lectures, you limiting bro, yourself. When everything is possible, bro. Yeah, so jump off the building so you can fly, right? Cause you feel it, right? Anything is possible. No, bro. Certain things gonna take time, talent, preparation, dedication. You can't. Nobody. Just it could just happen. No. So bro. you're making my point, though. Nobody's excuse. Nobody is doubting that. Nobody is excusing that. Is I'm it gonna take time? Not, yes, but I'm that doesn't mean that it's impossible. I'm saying I I, I'm, I I said it three times already. That is ha- that is not happening. Nowhere in the near future, bro. Nowhere in the near future, bro. Nowhere. Sixty wins. I'm fine. That's what you, you can it. think that. Boston just so sixty three. So hold on. So when you say near future, what what do you mean by near? The how near five, is the, the how near is years. it? The next five years, we're not cracking sixty at least. AWNC Enterprise said, "LM spit." I don't listen. I'm not close <laughs> off to anything. Bro. Even even if it's fit, even if it's fifty wins, I'm not close off to that. Like we mm. gotta stop limiting these dudes just because we we living in the present. You like it's just, it's a 50, lot of it's a lot wins? of stuff that it's a lot of listen. It's a lot of stuff that I never thought would happen with this team. Period. That has mm. that has happened. So the fact of the matter is. There's not a lot of stuff. I'm not going to say, yo, this shit is impossible. A lot of these teams that was trash in the past years, never, I never thought Nuggets would see a freaking championship. 
I'm sure they fans you, never thought they bro. would see a championship. That is you, bro. From the minute niggas saw they got KCP and Bruce Brown, niggas said they're gonna be a championship team. You're talking Just about recent, careful, you're bro. talking about recent stuff, bro. They didn't always have KCP. They didn't always have Jokic. They've been in the league for years. No, they they it's not like they're a team that just came in the in the league, bro. They've been in the league for years. Hold on, hold on, hold on. So LM, LM, LM. So what's your point right now? Bro, what I'm saying is when you have a team in the league for that long, and you have a team that has Nuggets ain't always been at the top of the West. Let's get that very clear. They have never been at the top of the West like that. But what I'm Where's saying is, with time, with time, they got there. They hit, luckily, which we all said Jokic is an anomaly. They luckily hit with Jokic, and he upgraded that team from where they was at back then to where they are now. I'm sure Nuggets fans in 2013 and 2012 was thinking of Jokic as a Yo, Yoke is gonna lead the team to the championship one day in five years. He's gonna he's gonna lead us to the championship. He's gonna be one of the best players in the league. That was not their mindset. They probably thought that was impossible. A second round pick? Who the fuck is this? This nigga got drafted doing a Taco Bell commercial. Bro, I don't know. Like Yo, bro, that's I, I, the point make... that I'm making is I nothing is impossible until it's done. You have to. You can't limit yourself to certain things just because you looking in the pat in the present and being. This is never gonna get sixty wins. This is never gonna happen. Oh, like I feel man. like that's bush league, bro. Oh my you, god! You unless you, you want, it, if you, you got, got the it. if you got the mentality and the mindset to approach something and be like, yo, let's get this done. I think you might not get it done under Sean Marks. Sean Marks might be here for the next five years. Who knows? But if we actually get some competence in this front office. If we get some dogs on this team, dogs who want to win in championships and not here for, for no fucking money for the bread, but to get a chip for the, the city of Brooklyn, yes, I do believe that one day we can probably have a 60-win uh, team. May not be today, may not be 25, may not be 2026, may not be 2027, then probably might not be 2028. But in a future, yes, I can see Brooklyn having a 60-win team. Uh, record it just matters of perspective i'm not gonna sit here and downplay a fucking team just because they ask right. now y'all got it bro this is insane it is what it is there's a lot of shit in my life that i thought i would never be able to do that was impossible when i did it not because yeah, I, I limited I, I, myself I, I because i'm putting the work to see something happen I the same shit basketball ain't right different from real life i'm about to hit this merry go round right here y'all got it bro yeah yeah yo, hold up hold up hold up shout, shout out to ella man the chat said brian x said hope is a powerful force lol is what he's saying it's a bold strategy um, they they admit that is bold. They'll, um, um, AWNC in the prize said Nugget Gene still goofy, but the fans don't look goofy now. Uh, Claude Smith it's said, right. not, not, uh, Claude Smith said nothing is impossible till it's done. I like that seriously. Oh man, you you got you, you got you, you yo man, LM, that L stuff for Langston. Yo, man, let me pull up. <laughs> you want some likes to you, shit, man? Nah, Bro, I'm, I'm, I'm not playing. no motivational speaker. Like, I just, gotta I don't be. like limiting. Gotta be. I don't like limit. I just <laughs> have, I just, be, I just right? have it's, inspiration in people. Sir. I like, <laughs> I like to, you know what I'm saying? I don't, I never like to limit myself. And this is insane. I, I don't want to limit myself to certain things. And this is not only just basketball, real talk. This is a life, this is dead ass life lessons. These basketball mm -hmm. players probably no got taught in their lives that they never was going to reach the NBA. That shit is impossible until they did it. Like, it's, it's certain shit that you can't limit yourself to, bro. That nigga Jokic probably never thought he was going to be what he was going to be. What happened? He put in the work. That nigga is a champion. Kobe probably Kobe airball two times in his rookie season. They told they thought that nigga was gonna be garbage. What is he now? A legend. This is so many things that you have to be able to open yourself up to in order to succeed in this world. And when you got niggas telling you that shit is impossible, cool. They can think it's possible. Let them limit themselves to that. But you, what you got in your mind and your goals. 
you set that shit in motion and you make that shit happen no matter what the fuck the world tell you tell you is impossible. That's just yeah, what, that's, that's just my monster. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yo, I'm gonna tell you right now, man. I'm shout to LM and Easy because for it to happen, you know what I mean. Sometimes before it gets to the bright side, you gotta go through that. You know what I mean? Don't but involve me in this right here, bro. Don't involve yeah. me in this right here. Yo, go no, get your law degree. Uh, go get your law degree, bro. I will, I, you got I, this, man. Don't no let nobody say you can't get this. Dude. I respect. Go get your law degree, my G. Don't don't involve me in this one, bro. I all right, all right. So hold on. I, I just wanna say. I just wanna say. Shout to LM. I mean, if there was ever a time a Nets fan needed to hear somebody talk like that, it's now. <laughs> At the end of the season, we're <laughs> 32 and 50. We needed that. Shout to LM, man. We got Jay in the building, too, man. What's good, EJ? What's good, bro? I'm over here making beats, man. My fault. Last time somebody had called me in between, I got cut off. But, yo, man, okay. it was a tough end to a tough season, man, but we shall survive. We will persevere. We still alive. Right. We still right. alive. We still alive. <laughs> we still alive. <laughs> we still alive, man. We still alive. Wait, so what grade? What grade would y'all give this season? Like in terms of like a C plus, D minus, D plus. Pause. <laughs> I give this shit a D too, bro. Pause. Uh, this shit was horrible. Right, right. It was failing. Look, the only it bright spots was Cam was, and Clowney. It, it was keeping it, it was, a book. It was the failing season, but it wasn't. It it could have been worse. That's the only thing. Like it could have been worse. It could have been Washington. But. <laughs> well, Wally on Wednesday said, "Pop in the LM preaching." Yeah, I'm about to get the motherfucking the piano that they got the motherfucking. Or the orchestra <laughs> button, you know what I mean? All right. Uh, shout to Brian next. He said, "Oh man." Uh, but yeah, man. Shout to everybody. Shout to Wally. Um, <laughs> hold on, Wally. Let me ask you something, Wally. Why? Why? I just why you I can't read. What, bro? What? Yeah. He... <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I don't. I don't know. I don't. Yeah, he trolling, bro. He trolling. I'm not even. <laughs> <there. laughs> I'm, I'm not even, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm just. I ain't even fitting to do it with, with Brian X, man. Uh, shout to uh, AWNC. I don't know what he talking about neither. He says sixty four. Uh, yeah, I don't know what the hell going on with the chat. So hold on. Shout to Wally on Wednesdays. I know she's trying to put motion to this Donovan Mitchell. I would love to hear her theories on uh, you know, what's going on with uh. Yeah, if he come here, his name is Donovan Mitchell. But I, I... <laughs> that's part of fire though. Dollar Van Mitchell. Nah, no, no, yo, no, Jay, Jay, can you can you can you can you explain to the fans that might not know how important the dollar van is? Nah, it, it, oh it, yeah. If, if Flatbush, not nah, even try to get the flat. Utica, bush. Utica. <laughs> that shit is essential. You know what I mean? Dollar vans. You know what I mean? Because you don't want to get on this bus. Because that shit going to take too long and it's going to cost mm -hmm. too much. You drunk right. in the dollar van mm -hmm. real quick. You, mm -hmm. you get to your destination. They gonna, <laughs> it, it look crazy. It look like they kidnap you when they pick you up. But you good, though. <laughs> <laughs> no, that shit is crazy. Nah, I heard crazy. they charge you. I heard they upping the prices, yo. That shit's really like $3. $2, $2 vans. Yeah, that's a fact. Yeah. Like a no, no, no. No, no, no. Hold on, hold on, hold on. If you tell them you don't got the, uh, if you tell them you don't got the two dollars, they still might let you ride though. Be like, nah, I only got a dollar, bro. Get in. <laughs> nah, hold on, I'm gonna be crazy about they bread. Right, right, about, right, but they will kick, <laughs> <out, bro>. <laughs> kick you the fuck out, bro. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> like, bro. hold on. Like, for instance, like, I, I want to just they, talk. They if y'all don't know the, you out with two dollars, bro. If they ask for three, bro, they'll kick you out, bro. Hold oh, on, yeah. hold on. Because a lot, of, a lot of. A lot of fans, a lot of fans, y'all might not know the difference between a bus and a dollar van. We trying to get y'all the 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 the, the, the nooks and crannies of the situation. And now, if you get on the dollar van, the difference from getting on the bus is the bus will give you a little grace before they pull off. You know, to get your change together or your card or whatever you got going on. You know what I mean, the dollar van it gives you no grace. Like Jay said, you it feel like you're being kidnapped. It's not like you're being kidnapped, <laughs> but it's like. They got a whole fucking rope on the door. So, like, as soon as you get in, you got to find a seat fast or you fit in the tumble. You fit in the tumble till you get to your seat, bro. They is not waiting until they you pull sit off down when you get in the way. 
Before as you, as you get, get in the seat, whip, they pull on. They done ran three green lights before you done sat in your seat, bro. <laughs> <laughs> they be pulling off, Matt. They be driving like they uh Vin Diesel. I'm like, yo, I want to get there safe. <laughs> like, I want to get there safe, bro. Like, you go go slow. I'm good. I'm not in a rush. Hey, you don't need hey, to be doing all hey, that, bro. Hey, yo, hey, I, hey, hey. How many how look. many cab drivers you heard? Any dollar get on van cab driver van to a car crash? You ever heard about that? No. Nah. I don't know what to do. <laughs> I know what to do. 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 Them niggas get you to your destination, though. I ain't gonna hold you. Nigga, that, nigga, that right there is proof. The Caribbean niggas know how to drive. Everybody else, these other niggas, yeah, they, they fucking you up and, dri and driving set. You ain't see, like, two years ago, they was on the, they was on the police chasing the dollar van? Oh, yeah. <laughs> 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 nah, the old lady was in the crowd. She was like, ah! <laughs> yo, she don't be yelling. Yeah, no, no, no. Hold on. Y'all got a real dollar story. What happened, bro? Pull over. You got to look wow. up the footage. It's a, it's a video. They went on a, on a police chase in a dollar bag. Hey, yo, Brady. You can probably find it on YouTube somewhere or something. Hey, yo, yeah, shout out to the crazy. Yo, yo, shout out to the panel, man. Hey, I just want to tell you my predictions, man. I think, I think yo, that the Lakers are going, I think the Lakers are going to lose. So they can play OKT. Yo, hold on, oh, hold on, bro, yeah. hold on, bro, hold on, hold on. Who that? 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 Who Hold on, hold on, hold on. I don't want him to interrupt. I had to put him backstage. Yo, just stay backstage. Wait, wait, he put up. Wait, wait, wait. Yo, yo, Leonardo, don't leave, though. We need a Miami Heat segment for a second when you come back. Right, 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 right. We want to hear from you. You just changed the yo, whole topic. You've been up bro. here for two minutes. You changed the topic in two seconds. But but let me just tell them niggas like this. Yo, bro, this nigga Leonardo one day, he pulled up and showed everything, bro. Miami Heat posters, boxes. Socks. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I was going, was, I, <laughs> yeah, yeah, nah, but I was yeah, going out of with him. Bro. Yeah, he, yeah, I ain't gonna lie, I ain't gonna lie. Man, I mean, he got some fire socks, though. So, I, I mean, I mean, I mean, he, he got, got, he got all of it, bro. He got everything, <laughs> but boxes, though. Wow, he, wow. he pulled he pulled out everything on the stream. Like, look at this, look at this. I got this. I was like, damn, nigga, you oh, ain't paying for real. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, nah. nah bro, Breezy, that, if, you, if you you type Breezy, it up on YouTube, that's what you probably happened, can yeah. find the video. I think you can find the video if it's on YouTube. The dollar bill shit was funny. Yeah. yeah, she was like, ah! I'm like, yo, shut up. Wait, oh, hold on. You, you dragging it. Oh, shout out to Brandon from the block. He said, yo, shout out to you, bro. Shout out to FIFA boy. He said, salute, Breezy. Uh, and I just wanted to say, I seen him on Players' Choice, and I wanted to be honest with you, bro. The entire time that you were pulling up here, I thought that was an owl. When I found out that that was a cat <laughs> with spaghetti on his head, I was <laughs> crying. <laughs> I was crying nah, like yo, I was yo, Breezy crazy. Up, bro. Breezy <laughs> yo, nah, seriously, that that don't look like an owl. He be bugging out everybody profile picture. Nah, bro. you got to go on, sir. Oh shit! Yo, that shout out is yo, crazy, yo, though, yo, yo, nigga saw my picture and said like, "Yo, I'm plotting on this nigga chain, bro." You see this nigga chain? I'm plotting on this nigga chain, bro. Like, <laughs> yeah, yeah bro. He thought you was dropping the mixtape. Yo, oh, so you got so you got, yo, I ain't so gonna lie. I didn't think that was five either. Scheme on me? Uh, nah, yo, who was that? Uh, who said his name? Dollar Van Mitchell from now on. He, he can't be Dollar Van Mitchell unless he oh. in Brooklyn. Nah, nah, he on the panel. Hold on, A W N C. He jumped on the oh. panel with us. I call him. I just call him A. Shout to A. A on the panel with us. Shout to A. He said, "Did yeah, he, he said he can't be Dollar Van Mitchell unless he in Brooklyn, man." Yo, nah, I think Word. Wally has said that first. Shout to Wally. She said that. Oh, yeah. Hold on, hold on. She said Donovan, <laughs> Mitch she said Donovan Mitchell is insane. She crying. Word. Yeah, that's hilarious. Yo, Donovan Mitchell, son. Donovan Mitchell. Something tell me if he came, if he pulled up to Brooklyn, that shit would catch on. I ain't going to. I ain't gonna hold you. Yeah. Nah, I told you I'd it be would. coming up with the slogans, bro. 
Yeah, yeah, yo, yo, hold on. So one. Jay is trending, trending. He because he said that he wanted to play with the Brooklyn Nets. You, you want him back, right? Yeah, man. I, I like trending, man. And trending and Cam is a good thing. Yeah, they got right. chemistry. They've been teammates right. for like two seasons now. Dayron Sharp is a good thing. Fucking Clowny is a good thing. Clax is a good thing. I don't know about some of these other niggas. I, I ain't mad at, um, like, truly, I'm not mad at uh, this dude, Mikael, as much as it would seem like I am. But I feel like he's a step above Joe Harris, so he should, he need to be doing Joe Harris' old job. And Cam Johnson is a worse version of him, so he need to get the fuck out of here, probably. <laughs> or he could just be him off the bench, I guess. Nah, Ken Johnson got to go. Okay, he could get the fuck out of here then. But I don't know. Like, who else? But even though I want Cam Johnson out of here, I don't want us getting rid of all our wings. Like, we need we need to keep some wings going. Because the thing is, Cam Johnson could come back next year and start shooting much better. Because he is the shooter. Shooter is streaky. Shoot whatever. But like I said, the whole thing is they had these dudes playing out of their roles, so they was trying to do too much. They need to fall back and let some young niggas like let, <laughs> let I, I, a young nigga shine. Sit not Wally to the Jay, 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 all right, Jay. Let me ask you this question, right? Do you never, think y'all ain't never hear Hitman holler when he said, "Let a young nigga shine, sit your old ass down"? <laughs> yeah. Jay, 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 let me ask you this question. Then let me ask you this question, right? Do you do you think we have too many players that if you put them in the in the right role they have the same role and you can't have so many players having Bro, the same role on the court? I keep saying this, but I feel like for some reason that's what the front office is looking for. Like they're looking for positions. Like they keep saying, like if you keep if you listen to the interviews with Sean Marks and with people that run the team, they keep talking about positionless basketball, and they keep getting players that's all around the same height, from point guard to center, everybody between like six six and six ten, like kind of the same height for real. I don't know. They just want everybody the same height. They want everybody to be fast. They want to play positionless basketball. And that's what they're trying to do. I don't know why that's the, the the game plan, but that's what it seemed like it is. But but hold on, hold on, um, uh, hold on, Jay. I just wanted to add to that. Then we are gonna move around the panel because we got some uh, who on the panel with the us. Same shit with the fifty threes. My fault, but I don't know if they doing that now that Jock Barnes still ain't there. But the same thing. It's just about a three. The league is trending towards the fact that a three is worth more than a two, and statistically that makes sense. Like, right. But look, look, Cam, I mean, I'm sorry, Clax, he got opposing ideas. You know, when Clax and Clowney had 12 blocks that game in the post game, Clax was like, yeah, I hope they see that, you know, I play good next to a big. And that's the direction that we go in. So Clax wants, he don't necessarily want to be just a dominant, oh, I do, I'll man the paint by myself player. He wants a, a big next to him. He feels like with another big next to him, that's the that's the kind of team he's looking to build with. Because let's yeah, think, 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 think about it. Been, how long have I been begging to see Dayron and Clax on the floor at some point? Well, you said yeah, but no, no, that that's to the point of style best. of play. It can't be fifty three pointers. You know what I mean? Like, nah, we don't need that neither. But then you just hold on. Hold on, what, my what you mean? What do you mean about the fifty threes? I mean like. Style of play, uh, Clax he wants to get fed the ball more. If you feed yeah, him, yeah, him yeah. the ball more, then you're not taking 53 pointers. You feel what I'm saying? You you getting the big man the ball, you know, you fucking taking 35 plus, you know what I mean? But you definitely don't need to take 50. Shit. Is, you don't need 40. My thing is, and I keep saying this if we had the best shot blocker, which is uh, Claxton. And the best rebounder on the floor, which is Dayron, that probably would do something good. And we never tried it ever. Like I don't think. I think. I, I think the reason for that is because uh, Clowney's skill set is more uh, likable next to next to Claxton. Because they both the only same way, nigga. 
They are, but but uh, Clowney is willing to stretch it out, right? Yeah, so the thing is, unless they tell Day Day, like, yo, start shooting, because he the better shooter between those two. They already started know. saying that. They they already told him he could shoot a little bit, but they just be giving him the shots in bad positions sometimes. But they did let him start shooting some threes. Yo, hold on, hold on, y'all. I wanna I wanna ask y'all this. I wanna ask y'all this. First, I'm gonna read John's question. I mean John's comment. He says, guys, looking at the outlook, if Mike Budden holds a, the likely candidate is chosen, Donovan Mitchell is the top target this summer, and Bud is going to want two bigs on the court with Mitchell now. That being six, uh, said, I think he has success with Paul Millsap and Atlanta, and he definitely has success with Giannis. So I'm only saying that to say not that we have a Giannis, but he would prioritize the four or the big. He would prioritize a big front court. A lot of yo, there's a lot of good that uh, I think Coach Bud could bring to the team. I'm not gonna hold you. I like Kevin Ali, man, but it's just hard to. I don't want to take nothing away from Coach Bud because I like Kevin Ali. I like both of them. You know what I mean? For the job, yeah. right? Now. Um, yeah, I, I think hold, they both can do good. Hold on, hold on. Let's hear from Let's hear from A. A ain't say nothing yet. Shout out to A, man. What's good, A? Yo, y'all hear me? Yeah, yeah, we can hear you. Straight, straight. Uh, yeah, yo, peace to the chat. What's up, y'all? Peace, peace. Yeah. Uh, what up, what up? I agree. Ali is still the staff, but... Who the hoes are going to be the coach? I mean, let's go. So why not? Mm. Yo, yeah. hi, I'm with you. Um, Hold on, hold on. Anybody want to answer this question? Because I know how I'm going to answer this question. DJ BTE says, y'all think Cam Thomas will be better than Brunson in a few years? Am I bugging? I, I'll give a quick answer to this. Uh, Yes. I think because naturally Cam Thomas is a two guard. Naturally, Jalen Brunson is a one and he's going in Jalen Brunson is going into his prime years, but Kim Thomas is too. Uh, I just tend to think that because Kim Thomas is a player that has a high IQ, he's going to his upside. Like he, he, he had uh, Katie and Kyrie uh, uh, ahead of him at once. And I just think he's a student of the game. I, I say about two, three years. I put it like this. If if he had the same opportunity this season, minutes, and I, when I say opportunity, I mean minutes. If he played the same amount of uh, minutes that uh, uh, Jalen Brunson was getting, I think he'll be putting up the same numbers as Jalen Brunson this season. But he didn't. They tried to split the off. Y'all see with it. Y'all already know. I'm not fitting to go in and the, what, how the office was being ran. Y'all already know he wasn't running the office through Cam Thomas. And it was sad to see. Now, uh, anybody else want to answer this question? Then we go. Uh, I'm, I'm just going to say ditto, I, I think, man. Oh, Word. <laughs> Word. I think uh, they both going to be. The, I, I think since, you know, uh, Kevin Durant and Russell Westbrook and Jane Harden, the latter careers in the year. Cam Thomas and, and Brunson gonna be the top of the league, man. The top players. I, I think that's how I feel. Cam Thomas gonna be up there though. Fuck sure. bum saying he probably had a good season, man. We'll see. His daddy call him a bum. I'm gonna call him a bum. That's crazy. Um, hold on, hold on. Jonathan also says Nick Claxton is basically telling Sean Marks he will only stay if they go after Mitchell because he wants to be in the playoffs next season. Okay. All right, that's I like speculate. That. That's speculations, bro. Yeah, and Wally, she, 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 she said facts, John. Uh, excuse me, honey, but I don't know. Rihala eighty eight said Thomas and Brunson are a different type of players. Um, DJ BT said thank you. You know he must agree with that. For him to ask that question, he might have been thinking he was the only one out there. Nah, man, big fan breezy. This page feel the same way. Yo, so um, I want I want to answer to Jay because Jay was like saying put Sharp and Claxton there. I mean. We've seen Claxton and Ben Simmons. I, I, ben Simmons is a good rebounder. Ben Even Simmons is not the same person, bro. I said, bro, I pretty said much, shock. bro. He, I think it will be the same thing, bro. I honestly feel with Claxton and, and Ben just put sharp. It probably be the same Yo, thing. Bad as this season was, they could have showed it to me, bro. <laughs> Pause. They could have. They could have did it because and like I said. Best shot blocker and best rebounder on the team on the floor. Ben Simmons ain't the best rebounder. Sharp is. He, he could, he's, he's a good rebounder, though. He ain't the he's best one rebounder. on the team, though. 
Yo, yeah, hold on, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna be, I'll be honest with you. We, I can't let you go around with that that rhetoric on this page, bro, about Ben Simmons and how and he and he robbing us, bro. He's just straight robbing us. And fuck with all that other bullshit. He played 50, 15 games out of eighty two. That's robbing. Yeah, I don't know how that Ben Simmons rhetoric still alive. I don't know how it got no legs. They, st they still people... believing in him too. That, it has no believing in this Belichiaga. Um... Yeah, I promise you. They with it. They better trade bro, we seen, seen, bro, we seen, seen bro, we seen, bro, we seen two years of this. They, like y'all, they don't even remember. If Sean don't years. pull that off, he's not the guy he said he claims to be. <laughs> yo, we seen two years of this <laughs> nonsense, bro. Do I don't want to see it no more. Oh, yo, another thing I want to say about Boozy Hoser, though. I mean, he gonna be here next time. Yo, with well, Booze well, Booze Booze, yeah, well, Mike, yeah, well, Mike. With Boozy Hoser, we still gonna shoot mad threes. Like even we get bigger, but we gonna shoot mad threes still. Like. That's his game plan too. Like, you know what I mean? That's yeah, I think change. he know for his defense too, bro. Crazy, I think. I think it's my. Yeah, I think it's my mic. Oh no, I'll come back in. All right, I'll come out. Come back. In. Is, oh, oh, somebody watch the TV in the background. It, it just sound like bad echo. Uh, I don't think we're gonna be shooting that much threes with, with Mike. It sounds like somebody wearing a gold chain or some shit, man. Like it shit keep rubbing on their collar or some shit. I don't know. Yo, hey, come back in. Leave and come back in. Bro, but, um, yeah, that's it. I don't hear nothing now. Shit sound clear as, clear as a day. Um, Claude Smith said, Buzz resume don't guarantee no more than what the big three guarantee when they were here. That's about shot 50 Damn. games. I'll take shot 50 games. Jonathan said, quite honestly, the Knicks should have taken the third seed against the Pacers. Instead, they chose ego over strategy and now get either a semi-healthy Joel B or a super Jimmy playoff butler. Okay. That's the same uh, thing I just told 9-9. Nine nine. No, I ain't going on. What if it's an upset? Breeze, when I got caught, when I got kicked off the call, that was because Nan Nan called me. You know, he's a Knicks fan, and he was yeah. talking about it and, and saying all that, but I was like, Y'all got second seed. He was bragging for that. But I was like, your prize for second seed is either Embiid or Jimmy Butler. And I think you would rather the Pacers anyway. <laughs> nah, bro. I think we're going to shoot mad. He shoot mad threes, too. The Bucks were shooting threes. Like, yes, they got Giannis attacking the paint, stretch out, and that's it. It was the same strategy. Uh, hold on, hold on. We gonna, I'm going to read this comment. Then we're going to get to uh to Leonardo. Leonardo want to give us his predictions for the, for the playoffs. Uh, he a Miami Heat fan, so you know. He got tread lightly. Yeah. <laughs> Hold on, but uh, DJ BT right he now. said DJ BT he said son he gave him forty one with no help facts and again I like how he competitive like he got a competitive spirit and he didn't back down from OG once I seen that it was solidified yo this my friend he should be the franchise player for the Brooklyn Nets man. You know what I'm right. saying? So after I seen that, I say, yeah, he represents the Brooklyn Nets brand of basketball. It's him. We don't need to look no further. Don't put him in no trade package. Don't even disrespect him like that. Yo, you know what I'm it's, saying? It's crazy, yo. Breezy J, LM. Y'all made these people a Ken Thomas fan a believer. Remember how Ken Thomas got all the hate? You can't, they mm -hmm. can't even come up with nothing no more. At the end of the season, he was the only bright spot. It's done. The hate is over, son. Yeah. No, nah, there's still some out there. I won't say only, but yeah, I get you what you're saying. No facts. He was hoping. It's, um, it's some out there, but it's a small put. They got no legs to stand on anymore, though. It's no, no, no. Like, I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about, I'm, talk, I'm talking about the, now he's not the only bright spot. I, you got Noah Clowney. You got Trinidad. No, 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 we got no, LM, bright LM spots. some out there, but you can't Thomas Hater, but it's only small. They got no legs to stand on anymore. They can't say nothing because the team sucks so bad. It, they couldn't say nothing. I mean, oh, even thanks. Dylan was Dylan was on here Nets press early. He was like, "Yo, I didn't like Cam Thomas at the beginning of the season. Now, they got no on the choice, team, bro. Yeah, he changed his mind. Word, Word and that's choice. because of the consistency. Again, remember, we still we still talking about a player that played sixty six games. So we're not just fan fearing him. He 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 sixty five plus games in. You feel what I'm saying? So it's he not like the work this season. So I want to hold on. I want I want to say I want to ask to Warley thing because she said Bud is a defensive minded coach. Yeah, he is. But y'all got to read, the, read the whole thing. I was fitting to read it, but if you're gonna read it, read the whole thing. Oh uh, yeah. So Bud is a defensive minded coach. 
he's exactly what this team needs that will push Mikel and Clax maybe to prioritize it more than the offense. But the problem is, people got to understand, Brooke Lopez was playing drop defense, too. But we, nah, we try, but this ain't the same situation as Brooke Lopez because, you again, remember, we talking about two players. So you got Macau on the perimeter to Wally's talking point. But, but Macau, he could focus on that in a sense where, you know, I think she, she's saying that Coach Bud will play Macau to his strengths because he's a defensive-minded coach. I don't think Macau it, taking all them shots with Bud. Yeah, exactly. You know what I mean? And if he do, he going to have them taking it from where he make them. The, like you know what I mean? He's not, you know. They they like they gave Macau Bridges and told him to take the three pointer from anywhere. And when, now when you watch Nets players, you can see that Royce O'Neal hit the elbow three better than Macau Bridges well, did. Damn. But oh, good point. That's a good just, point. Y'all just put a hole in my theory because if he not going to shoot all them threes like that, is he still going to be a step above Joe Harris? Yes, I think so. Yeah, he played, he played book when he was getting to the main range. The only play, and he got more defense than Joe. What? Well, shit. No. he Damn, beat Joe Harris' record this year. Is he gonna beat it next year? <laughs> is he gonna beat his record? Because he, 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 uh, what fourth in most threes on the team. Yo, my, my thing mm. is, my only concern is, yo, we gotta hire Bud. Yo, give him, give him some time, yo. That's even we look bad next year. Still give him some time, like that's all I ask for. Because if you look at Kevin Ali when he came in, I feel like well, my everybody got different opinions, right? Some people like the Ben Simmons all the way was running the beginning of the year. I feel like we were still trash, but when we were playing, and mind you, these two games we didn't have Dennis Schroeder, which I think is very important to the team offense. But I feel like we was trending to the right direction. We was better in deep. We actually played some defense. I think Schroeder was a big loss because we only had one point guard, and that was Walford. And we needed two point guards. We could run the offense and, you know, change it up a little bit. So I like that, that's my I like thing. Truda. We got to get a new coach. Let's let him last, Man, please, for, if we, for two if years we, if we or get, more. If we get Mitchell, I think they're going to have Cam running point guard. Or, they, they've they been experimenting with Cam running point guard all this end of the season. If y'all been watching, he's been yeah. going, bringing the ball up the court. And I, I, I have a question for you, Jay. I just want to I just want to say that Cam Thomas floater, that shit nice. But go ahead. Go ahead, bro. So I have, a, I have a question for you, Jay. Do you think Mitchell will feel be fit better in this team than Struder? Because Struder came in a couple months and implemented He He did his thing for I, me. I, Struder, cool. He's been doing good, but I just hate the fact that he slowed the ball up just as much, if not more, than Dinwiddie. Like, but he good. I, he, he better than Ben Simmons. So, but do I'm you think he's better than that. Mitchell? You think Mitchell could come have a better impact? I think yes. what Shooter was 18 7, yes. something like that, right? If I'm not mistaken, for the most part. So, you think Shooter was what? Like, I think 18 points a game, seven assists, if I'm not mistaken, around there. You think. Mitchell could come Mitchell and have that impact. Have, he would definitely have a better impact this year. Okay. What do you think? Uh, what do you guys think in the panel? Y'all think he, Mitchell will have a better impact this year? Because Shooter implement Claxton into the offense. The lobs was looking great. Uh, he was just a good point guard. So and he only had a couple games with us. What but do Shooter don't got no gravity. Fucking uh, Mitchell got gravity. Like people going double team Mitchell. Niggas don't double team Shooter. But yo, but all right, let me ask you this. Y'all don't think Blue the Hose and winning with Giannis will prioritize a power forward over a Mitchell? Like, yo, let me get a big man before I get another guard because I got Cam Thomas. The thing is, is, is there any is there, is there any roster that he had a dominant two guard? Oh, that's a good question. What like I what think... roster that Blue the Hose was successful what, what, what? with was a dominant two guard? What Middleton? What position is Middleton? Is he's he, a small okay. forward. Small forward. Oh, he's small. Okay. Yeah, that's I mean, a good I, fucking question. Damn. I, I mean, when he was on the Spurs, he was an assistant coach. So, like, he was with, like, Bonnie and Tony Parker. That count. That that count. Word. Damn. Um, But they wasn't the focal point of the offense. And what I'm saying is, if he was, he was to come here, who would be the focal point of the offense? Cam Thomas. I is mean, from what it is right now. Is that a question? It probably gonna be Claxton, right? No, no, I'm just saying, like no, he won, he won no. with a big man dominant no, no, like Giannis. No, no, no. 
But that's what I was trying to tell y'all Bro. a season and a half ago was that Clax, I feel like his progression could be something like Giannis. And I feel like that's what the team thinks, and that's why they would be going after Bud. Jay, that nigga would have to put on 20 pounds of Bro, muscle. Did you see did you see Giannis when he was first drafted? He did put on 20 pounds of muscle and Clax done put on 10, 15. So he just gotta keep having two more. Yeah, hey, that nigga Clax me eating salads and, and drinking water look, also. He that nigga ain't put on no look muscle. At, look at young nah, that's that's a nah he did that's put a, on muscle. <laughs> I can't <laughs> I'm trolling, I'm trolling, I'm trolling. What I'm saying is just look at Giannis. You could just look at a picture from year one to year five, then look at Clax from year one to what's this year four? Nah, this is his fifth season. It was uh, his fifth season. No, but nah, Clax was skinny his rookie year. Clash that nigga was skinny and bones. Uh-huh. Hey, yo, breathing. Can I, I agree with this comment, though? Sense? Hold on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go ahead, uh, Jimmy. Uh, what you said, yet? Leonardo. Your name is Leonardo. But I don't know yeah, what you I put was, I just that. wanted to get my predictions. He got it for right. Jimmy Buckets. That's why. Okay. Okay. I go, go, I, go, I, go I go tell you who I got. Talk okay. I think I think I think it's Tuesday or Wednesday. I think the Lakers play. I think they're gonna lose so they can play OKC. So I think I think New Orleans, I think New Orleans is gonna play Denver. Losing and I think that game, I think that game is gonna go. Oh, you saying Denver avoiding a matchup so they could play somebody else? No, he's no. Like I'm saying the I'm saying the Lakers are going to avoid because if the Lakers win, right, they're going to be oh, the first Lakers, seed. They're going to have to play Denver. So I think okay. the Lakers are going to lose so uh-huh. they can play OKC. And then so they, they that's play the matchup OKC. they want. They want the OKC yes. matchup over the Denver matchup. Yep. Okay. Yeah, listen, on purpose though. I don't know about yeah. that, sir. Okay, no, I'm I'm just making a prediction, you know. I just making okay, a prediction. Okay, okay. okay. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. After that, y'all could discuss it. I just want to make my prediction because I know you all got stuff to talk about. Okay. Yeah, nah, so I got. Right. So I got. So I got. I got, I got. I got Lakers beating OKC. Now the Mavs and Clippers. I am gonna pick the Mavs to beat the Clippers. Ooh, and then well, the based on recent history, all right, hold on, no, no, we not. I'm not trying to um go back and forth with you about your your take. I want to hear all of the predictions you got, and then we yeah, yeah, talk yeah, about that's it. what I'm saying. Yeah, so I got I got mass I got mass beating Clippers in six, okay. okay, right, and I got I got Lakers beating OKC. Now Phoenix and Minnesota, I think that's gonna I think that's gonna go to four seven. I got Phoenix beating Minnesota. Ooh, okay, that's who I got. That's my prediction. Mm. Now for the East. Okay, now for the East, I'm gonna tell you what's gonna happen, right? Miami is going to be Miami is gonna beat Philly. Okay? We're gonna okay. play the Knicks. I will tell wait, let me let me finish. Okay, the reason why I'm t- I'm gonna pick my heat to win is because Jalen Brunson and Terry Rogier are gonna cancel out each other. Nobody on the next team is gonna stop Jimmy or uh-huh. Tyler Hero. That's why I think my heat is gonna beat the Knicks. Okay? <laughs> now the Orlando Cleveland, I think Orlando is gonna be Cleveland. Okay, I agree. Okay. Okay. Then the other matchup is Indiana Milwaukee. I think Indiana might mess around and sweep the box. But if Indiana do win the series, I think it's gonna go six. Hmm. I don't think Giannis is coming back in time. And I think the reason why is because Tyrese Halliburton and Damian Lillard is going to come so long, right? But then, you remember, you also got Paul Siakam. Nobody in the box is going to be able to stop Paul Siakam with him and my Turner inside. Mm. You see? And you Giannis, is, Giannis is injured, right? You yes, though. he's going to be injured. But I think that he might come back. But even though I think he's going to come back late in the series, it's going to be too late for them to come back. So I, I think they're going to be mm, out. You see what I'm saying? Thing. Same thing that happened it, last year. Though. Yeah, that is a hot take. Keep going. Going. Yeah, no, so, I got, so I got Indiana beating Milwaukee. I got uh, Orlando beating going. Cleveland. Okay, huh? okay. You know, God, keep on going, bro. You cooking. Keep on okay. going. Okay. Boston right. and Philly. Boston and Philly. I I am thinking something is telling me no. that I think Philly is going to be Boston. I think Boston no. is going home the first one. No. If they don't go home the first one, the series is going to seven. I got it. I got mm. Philly because I tell you right now, Atlanta and Chicago, 
I think that one of them two teams, I think Atlanta maybe might beat the Bulls. But because maybe DeJounte Murray might show up and they might beat the Bulls. But I think whoever win that series, whoever win that game, I think that personality Philly is going to beat them. So I think don't matter because remember, Philly, remember the reason why I think, because if you think about it last year, really Philly, Philly could have beat Boston, but the only reason why they lost was because James Harden had that man down in game seven. See, now it's going to be different mm. because remember Kyle Lowry played with, my, play, remember Kyle Lowry played with Miami against Boston. So I think that that's going to be the difference. I think Tyrese Maxey is going to have big games. So I think that's going to be all seven. Boston lose. They right. blowing that team up, yo. I ain't gonna hold that. You gotta, gotta be. This yo, real. that's there's some hot takes in there, boy. There's some hot so, takes. So, so I mean, I, I really, that's all I want to say, man. I appreciate, I appreciate you for um for hot. Oh, really? Also, I want to say this with Cam Thomas. I think that if you all get booed in home, sir, I think Cam Thomas is going to be. I think Cam Thomas will be there. I think he's gonna be like the primary target. As far as Nick Claxton, I don't think that I think that Nick Claxton is might get paid, but I don't think he's getting paid. I don't think he's getting paid the hundred million. That's what I think. Mm, okay. You see what I'm saying? Because so, if you so think about on, it, so, you on, think. Hold on, I was saying this, and you know, you know how he feel. I don't know how much he care, but I feel like if they're gonna pay Cam Johnson, Joe Harris, after all of the people that they did pay, how could you not pay Clax? Exactly. Okay, okay, I will tell you why. Because Breezy, when it comes down to it, sports is see as fans, you know what I'm saying? We are a fan of the game, right? So we love the game and we love to have players, but in sports itself. It's a little bit of politics. That's why Cam Johnson got paid. I don't think Cam Johnson should have got paid out of money. You see what I'm saying? Tell me why. Tell me why. Tell me why. Tell me why. The reason why, okay, Cam Johnson was is a backup player. The reason why he was so hype was because he came with Makai. I don't mm -hmm. think that Cam Johnson should have got paid that money. You yeah. see what I'm saying? Cam Johnson getting so, paid more than Brunson? Huh? Cam Johnson getting paid more than Brunson, right? I think so. Yeah. Oh, oh, right. I think that the reason why Cam Johnson got paid was, it was, That's I think it's a little like, more political. Contract, I yeah. think it became political in that aspect. But I don't think Cam mm. Johnson should have got paid. So I think what the Nets need to do is, I think this offseason, you need to get rid of Cam Johnson because you're already paying that clown. What's his name? The one dude that's sitting down... Um, Mr. B. Mr. B. Simmons. Simmons. You pay exactly. you paying Ben Simmons all that money and he hasn't played. So I think that the Nets, I think when it came down to that, I don't think that the Nets learned from the mistake by paying Ben Simmons all that money for him not to play. I think that you should have never pay Cam Johnson all that money. I think what you should have did was you should have given him, you should have given him like maybe like like 10 or 11. And then after that, if he played good and he showed you what he's really about, then maybe you could have raised up his thing. You see what I'm saying? But I think what's going to happen there, I think Cam Johnson is going to get caught because I think Ben Simmons is really not going to stay. I think after this year, when Ben Simmons turns this up, I don't think Ben Simmons is going to last all the way to the trade deadline. I think he will be gone by then. Mm. You see what I'm saying? But I think that Nick Claxton is going to, they're going to make it for Nick Claxton to take a shorter deal, uh, to make him take a, make him take a lower deal with shorter years. So then after that, when they get rid, when you get rid of Ben Simmons contract, and then you get rid of Cam Johnson, I think that's when you're going to give Nick Claxton his pay. Because by then he's going to be in, going into his prime years. You see what I'm saying? Because you got to think about it, you all. When it comes to, like, Brooklyn, I'm not saying, I'm not going to sit here and say that it's thing, but we know what happens there when it comes to Brooklyn. I, I, players. I, so, hold on. So, Leonardo, Leonardo, um, uh, humor me. Not humor me because we're in the playoffs. I, I, ain't, I can't talk spicy. Uh, where is Miami? How is Miami? What, what happens with Miami? I told you. I tell you, we're going to be there. We're going to be Philly. And we're gonna take the seventh seed, and uh -huh. we're gonna play the next, and we're gonna beat the next in six. Okay, so y'all see, you see, y'all get into the Eastern Conference Finals. 
Well, I will tell you right now, Breezy. Man, I think we're going back to the title. Okay, man. I think we're going back to the title. A lot of things could happen in between. Okay, you so see what I'm saying? Of, of course, of course. So you're saying that uh, you got the Heat getting to the finals, not the Eastern Conference finals, the finals. Now, remember, I'm going to the here. finals. Okay. All right. That's who I got. You want me to tell you why, Breezy? I'm going go, I go, I go to tell you why. I'm going to explain to you all something, okay? If you saw last year, okay, I'm not saying, I'm not saying Denver could have won that finals, but Look, look how look how serious sports is. I'm a, I'm a, I'm just I just want to teach you all something, JTV. Check this out because see, we are fans of the game, but I have to see this with my own two eyes. If you notice one thing, right? If you didn't notice one thing about the season, check this out, right? Denver was the champions, right? Why did they not? Why if they were so the best team, right? Why did they not even make it to the to the final round of the playing tournament? Because I'm telling you, if something happened there, something happened there when Miami went to play Denver, something happened there and the curve twist. Because if you notice, right, when we went, when we got out of Denver, right, the series were tied 1-1. One, one. You mean to tell me that we just lost those two series and Jimmy didn't even say nothing? So it's more to it than that. So now I'm thinking that, that once... When Denver players got switched, like Bruce Brown got moved, and all this thing happened, that's why you see Denver didn't even make it to the conference finals of the play-in. So I think that now all this is going to play a part in it that I don't think they're going back to the finals. That's so hard. You, see? you see what I'm saying? Uh, yeah. so I'm not saying hold, hold, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's, let us rebuttal some, not rebuttal, but kind of recap what you say. You said a lot. Shout out to Leonardo. You got a uh, WNC Enterprise said, my son Panama cooking. You know what I mean? The chat, we hear you, man, but you said sure a lot. Share the screen, yo. Make sure y'all share it. Like and subscribe. Word. This is some lit shit right here, boy. Yeah. <laughs> hey, shout out to Breezy and JT and everybody on the planet, man. I, I like to come in here and talk to you all, man. You know what I'm saying? You it's always fun, glad bro. Glad to see you, bro. Glad to see you. Yeah, bro. good to see you too, JT. You know what it is. Much love always, bro. Word, I told you, man, I got a piece of Brooklyn in my heart, man. Don't don't get mad because I just, you know what I'm saying? I just speak yeah, reality yeah. of what it is. That's no, all I yeah, talk your shit. Yeah, I don't never be mad at you. You be talking your shit and you be standing on your Miami Heat business. And you don't even really yeah. be hating on the Nets like that. Nah. The, nah. So I so I, I got I got I give you respect. I remember last year you were saying that they was gonna get to the Eastern Conference Finals. Everybody laughed at you. They they like what 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 seed y'all is, all that shit. And when they when they fucking got there, I you was the first person I was looking for to be like, yo, you said that shit first, bro. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, now nah, and I ain't gonna lie, I, I did not believe that y'all was getting that far, and y'all did. So I had to salute that, you know what I mean. Well, again, we all got we we all got uh uh opinions about how far our team gonna get. And some of us are right, some of us are wrong. And the ones that's right, I don't duck that smoke, man. Hey, I, wait, I, I wait. salute. And hey, you that know the best thing that I loved about the uh Miami Heat, like they he did he got his predictions right, like him and Big Tone, they got their predictions yeah. right, except for when it was talking about beating us. No doubt. <laughs> like, remember that whole thing? I mean, that's, like I mean, yeah, that's yeah. true, though, but... But they was right but, about everything else. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah, but see, my thing is... My thing is when we play... My thing... See, see, the thing is... is see, you got to now. See, Brooklyn and Miami... Brooklyn and Miami, we don't have no rivalry, man. It's much love there always. I know it's a, I know it'll always be much love, but you know you know how it is when it comes to sport. Everybody's competitive. But my thing is, though, a lot of stuff... A lot of stuff playing to that when it comes to how they do that. That's why you see, that's why you see, I don't, I won't, I don't take that really personal because I know what I feel like it's a lot of stuff going on into that. That's why you see certain games I just be able to calculate. See, and I'm not gonna sit here and say that my predictions are always right, but I think that 96 percent or 95 i give myself 95 percent out of 100 i got a feeling i'm gonna be right yo man i ain't bad at that but also i, I want to say one thing breezy now i'm gonna tell you all something that's gonna be crazy i'm gonna tell you all something that's crazy right so not be surprised 
Do not be surprised. Remember, I said this. I got Miami and whoever come out the West, okay, to go to the finals, which I thinking it's gonna either be, I'm thinking it's gonna be Miami and Phoenix. That's who I got. Okay, that's who I got. But now I'm gonna tell you all: do not be surprised. Don't be surprised if in a couple weeks from now you are here that LeBron James got the fifth ring. Because it's sometimes that could play a what? conspiracy. Okay? Listen to what I'm saying. Just keep this in the back of your mind. Okay? Because I give mm. you all my predictions. But see, my thing with sports, Breezy, I some what I seen last year and I seen the last couple years, mm. and, and what I seen, I am sitting here saying, do not be surprised. Remember, you heard it here first. Do not be surprised if the Lakers win the championship. Do not be surprised because I'm not going to be. Like the okay. NBA finals? Yes. And I'm going to tell you why. I'm going to tell you why. Check this out. I'm going to explain to you why. I remember I kept this on here. Okay? The reason why I'm sitting here telling you all this, because you got to remember this right now, the NBA is trying to find somebody who's going to take over for LeBron James, Curry, and all these guys, right? The the If I'm correct, I'm, I could be wrong. So that's what yeah, I'm saying. I'm keeping this in the back of my mind. But what I'm saying, because I'm so deep in sports and I'm, and I'm sitting here like busy. That's what you see. I'm still up late. Like I'd be up to like four or five in the morning and I'd be watching like every little big thing that I can pick. You see what I'm saying? So what I'm saying is when I'm looking at it, I'm saying, okay, yes, LeBron James is in 21st season, right? But they can sit there and make this man another two, three more years, right? I just make money off of him with the Lakers being the AC because you got to think about it. At the end of the day, we are fans of the game, but at the end of the day, it's a business. You see what I'm saying? So I'm not saying like, okay, I'm thinking the Lakers are going to win the championship. I never said that, but I'm saying just don't be surprised if that happened. All right. So hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's, 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 let's talk about good business. Now okay. from a Nets, from a Nets fan perspective, I would love to see a team that never won it, uh, i.e. Denver, last season. They never won an NBA championship. Now they won an NBA championship. Not too many seasons ago, Phoenix, they was looking like they was going to win it. They went to the finals, though. Case in point is, that's good business, too. Seeing teams that get better because of the draft, you know, as much as you could contribute that to, how you say, uh, Chris Paul, but Booker was a big part of that. So I'm, I'm saying that to say... You know, that's good business, too. Seeing the Lakers uh -huh. get there because they got LeBron is just, like, some redundant. I don't want to see, like, just because they, in the latter part of their career, it, it shows that the game of basketball is faster than superstars. And this game, Evolution, is the one of the fastest evolutions in sports. When you think about evolutions in sports and how fast the game is being played, basketball has to be, like, number one. So, so that being said, hey, this is why they're going younger, getting players at, at a younger age to play in the league. You know what I'm saying? Okay, Breezy, I understand absolutely what you're saying, right? And I agree with you because, see, that's how I'm taking as a fan. Remember, we are fans. So we, you know what I'm saying? That's what I'm sitting there telling you. When Kevin Durant and Kyrie went to Brooklyn, I think where it got messed up was it was more deeper than what we think as fans. I really don't think that Kevin Durant, that's why I think that, that's why I think that Kevin Durant went to Phoenix and Kyrie went to Dallas because I don't think that the Nets really wanted to fire Steve Nash because if you notice, why would both of them go to the teams that was Steve Nash or teams? They didn't want to know other teams. No, no, no. So All right, I'm so. telling you that it played a lot of stuff played a factor into what we think as fans, and it sucks as a fan base because see, really, I know as much as you on JTV, and a lot of you are coming here. You know what I'm saying, and you all love your team, but at the end of the day, it's a business. You see what I'm saying? So all I could do is that's why you see I like to come in here and I talk yeah, to you no, because I hear, see? listen, I hear, I hear what you're saying. At the beginning of the day, it's a business. And all I'm saying is, uh -huh. it'd be nice to see, sometimes business change where it fluctuates where, yeah, maybe it was a cool thing for them to do that. Then again, you got to realize certain things happen and they always try to improve the league, 
right? But at the end of the day, the Brooklyn Nets is supposed to be here for good business because they was out in uh away to Piscataway. You feel what I'm saying? And that being said, that was bad business because it was it took a lot of for fans to get to the games. They put them right. They put the Nets right in the Barclays. You feel what I'm saying? Uh, yeah. Where it, it's easy to access from all uh, from all of the boroughs in New York City. So I'm saying that to say that it's good business for us to be a competitive team. So I just think that, you know what I mean? Think time should change for us. You know what I'm saying? If we just want to keep it about business, fuck. Yeah, we yeah, shouldn't be able to miss the playoffs if it's like that. But at the same time, bro, you got to realize, bro, their business is uh, has what, to what, what's, what's good, what's, what's good with it, bro? What's going on? But you gotta, but you gotta remember at the same time, their business has a, a certain venue, bro. Like, there's yeah. no reason. There, there's there's no reason why Caitlin Clark should be should be doing more ratings and more views in her two games against LSU, bro. Like in, in a national championship game against South Carolina, more than the NBA final in the last two to three years, bro. There, there's no reason for it. There's, there, there's no reason for it because the thing is. The NBA could be seen on so many different uh, uh views, so many different outlets, so many different venues. That but why? But, but why not? But but why not? Maybe just uh female basketball becoming more popular. You know what I mean? I, I, like, I, 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 no, I understand that. But if 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 you in the, if you sitting at if you sitting at the in the round tables, if you if you part of the executive team of the NBA that runs the front office and that runs uh network venue and, and, and marketing, bro, like listen, you looking at them numbers and you thinking to yourself, like, come on, bro, like. There's a reason why we can't we can't show our games, bro, at the same time in March, man, because she's taking over. We can't show our games on Thursday nights, bro, on, on from September, from uh November to the all the way to January because the NFL is taking over. We can't do Monday None. nights because the NFL is taking over. So, so the thing is, the, the yeah, reality money is, don't make no money, bro. Like you, you, you still gotta do business. Like even if business is slow, you still gotta do yeah, yeah, staying yeah, on yeah, business. That's, that's, what I'm telling you is that the business that the that this promoters of the NBA is doing, bro, is money business, bro. Like, because the thing is, like, as much money as they got swinging down the pipeline, bro, somehow, some way, LeBron, Steph, and, and KD is still getting featured and still getting more televised games than the young brothers that they're supposed to promote. That's not good. You want me to tell you why? You want me to tell you why? That's why I said it's Leaf, my bad. I didn't mean to say But Leaf, you was cooking, know, bro. Go ahead. Stop. Go ahead, go ahead. Yeah, Leaf, you know you be cooking, bro. But uh, this is what I got to say, man. If you think about it, right? Okay? LeBron James is, he is the number one thing of Nike, right? And the the point, the thing with that is, it's tough to say because we are fans. So we know, we know how it is to feel the way it is. So this is how we see it. But if you right. think about it, right? That's like, for example, like the Jordan brand, right? Luca is part of the Jordan brand. For them to make more money, people buy more Jordans. The regular people, yes, you're going to go buy Jordans. But for them to make more money from that, it's more. So what I'm saying is, with LeBron James, Curry, because if you think about it, right? Even if, for example, if Kevin Durant don't go to the final, because yes, Breezy, you want to see a new team win, right? Kevin Durant still got wanna, a three more years. I mean, like, I like certain players. So, again, that's me speaking on the Nets because we got zero championships. Yeah, in my lifetime, you know what I mean? Before I go to the upper room or whatever you want to say, I want to see the Brooklyn Nets win it. You know what I'm oh, saying? You, like, you don't get a championship. Yeah. Don't worry. You're going to have one. You're going to have one or two. You're going to have one or two. You're going to have two. You're going to have two or more. Don't worry. You will see that your last time, Breezy. I guarantee you. I told, I told, Breezy, you know, from my homeboy, right? I told my homeboy, right? When I left the military in 2014, before I left, I told him that the Cowboys would win a World Series before 2020. And you know what? They won. Don't worry. Wow. You will see that your lifetime. Don't worry. Yeah, you will. I mean, listen, like, uh, I think, I listen, everything is, uh, but uh, the good thing about the NBA, everything is on the up and up because as the uh, as LeBron, Steph, and KD get older, you're starting to see more small market teams. Like, there's no way we see Minnesota being number top two or top two, top three in the West. It's bro, no bro, 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 but it's they, no they, they, they got to, bro, Leaf, they got away from the basics. Look at the All Star game, bro. It was trash. You feel what I mean? It was supposed to, it supposed to be the best of the best, the best versus the best. And they just looking at it like a you know, you know what they do and say about Las Vegas. 
So I think they just looking at it like that. You know what I mean? They ain't looking at it like, yo, the best versus the best. But Jordan went to the USA team, and one of the things that he said I heard was he just wanted to see the little nuances of his competition so he can know how to beat them in the game in the NBA. Right, 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 right. He did. He did, That's he what did do it. He did. He did. About. It. That's what I need from from the All Star game. They didn't do that. So you can't be mad at the, the, the women getting so much attention. They more serious. Them college games be serious. Them college like, games. You don't follow serious, college but, uh, games, but I from what I know the, the, there's the, big the, fans the, that love the college basketball. The, the college game, and, and I say one thing about women uh, college basketball, specifically women's basketball, bro. Like it's literally the most purest uh, uh, form of basketball that you will ever watch. It really is because it's not about play. It's not about one play. It's even though Caitlin Clark is starting to get the notoriety, bro, like as as like the the, per, the the person that's supposed to save women's basketball and the person to take women's basketball to the upper echelon, bro. Like I understand that, but the thing is, I don't think she alone is doing that, bro. Like she, she's gonna need an Angel Reese to be like to be like the counterpart, man. Like I think Bird needs magic, like kind of like how Bird needed magic in the eighties. So, so the real the reality is that bro, like re the reality about it is the second that Vegas, the second that Vegas took control of like the better system and all that shit in the NBA, bro, everything started to go left. Everything started to look obvious. Notice, bro, they don't have that in the women's game, bro. You cannot bet on women's games at all. Not in college, not in WNBA, nothing. You can't you can't bet on that shit at all. Because they don't have that yet. The, the Vegas ain't get a hold of the Vegas ain't get a hold of the women's game yet. But but as soon as they do, we're gonna start seeing a whole bunch of shit go left, bro. And start seeing a whole bunch of obvious shit. Because as long as Vegas got a hand in that, bro, like now you now you put the entertainment involved, bro. Like because now it's no longer sports anymore. The NBA is the business first, sports second, and it's the uh, 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 entertainment second, bro. And it's, it's, uh, the sport probably third to last. I'm telling you, bro. Because it's a business, they have to sell it. Uh, hey, Breezy, I want no, to say this, right? Hey, Breezy, you want me to tell you what they trying to do? Check this out, right? You see how you see how the NBA got thirty teams, right? If uh, they if they make the, if they make the WNBA, right? If they okay, first of all, the New York Liberty uh, and, and the teams from there will win a championship where before these new teams come. But Breezy, this is the plan, right? If they get the WM, they, if they get the women's basketball to go up, right? They could mm. make the same 30 teams, and that's going to double the money of the stadiums. You see what I'm saying? Right now, they got like 10, 15 teams, right, for the WNBA. So that's why they play like the little one thing. But if they bring up these girls and they come to the NBA, they're going to open more markets for more teams to come in, for more teams to have teams. So all those teams that was that was done, because remember, in the 90s, remember, you had like Houston Comets, Sacramento Monarchs, you had all these teams. When when Lisa Leslie, Cynthia Cooper, and all these people left, a lot of uh, there was like Super, Lorraine Jackson, and all these other people that are still there. That's why you see the Seattle Storm was winning these championships because they was the only team in Seattle winning, and they knew that they could have made money from the fans. So at the end of the day, Greedy, as we being fans and we taking away, like Lee said, they want them to sit there and they want to go the market so they could double up the teams again so they can make money that way. So when these females come from the from the college game, they're going to say, okay, you know what? No, we're going to put her to a franchise that ain't make no mon more money, that ain't make no money, and we're going to use that franchise money to open up another franchise. That's what so, they're going to do. I, I, yeah, now, nah, but what I will say, how I look at it from where I'm, you know, through the lens, how I look at it is, it's like the, the game is so entertaining it, and it's so evolutionary. So much of that is happening between entertaining and being evolutionary or how the game changes at such a fast pace. I'm talking about basketball and the NBA that they don't even need to do none of that. It's just going to it's just going to naturally get be a, a better brain by them not trying to just make it business first. All they gotta Breezy, do is stay true thing. to the game, and it's going to they everybody gonna make money. Okay, Breezy, but remember one thing. See, that's how we think. See, we are fans. This is how we're gonna think. But remember this: the multi billionaires they want to be trillionaires. The trillionaires want to be multi trillionaires. 
So at the end of the day, that's why you see they put the WNBA team in Vegas and they make them win. You know why? Because in two, in if they they win another championship or after this, when 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 all these teams leave and say, say they don't win, then you're gonna have the teams like the New York Labor team winning. You're gonna have all the teams, but Vegas is gonna still be a tourist attraction because they're gonna make money. That's like the Bulls when the Bulls won all those championships for those years. You'll see the Bulls have been back to the finals, but Bulls games still fell. That's the point of the whole thing, Breezy. That's why Lakers sell. But the reason why the Lakers, the reason why the Lakers will always attract somebody because they are going to, they are more than what the team city is. They are going more global than what it is. You see what I'm saying? Because now you got business with China. Now you got business with with um with all these places like like Poland and Denmark and all these other places. People that that we really don't know how the NBA works. They just be like, okay, yeah, the Lakers are championship. So blah blah blah, whatever the case may be. So that's how they make the money, busy. See, as a fan, this is how we looking at it. Like, okay, yes, you want to see this, this, and this. But if you if you do like like I do, and Leaf is right about a lot of things. That's why I said Leaf was cooking. But like Leaf was trying to say that at the end of the day, they try to make the W, they trying to make these talent team go and they just want the fan them to go. But when the NBA starts seeing certain things, then you're gonna know if it's switching. That's what I'm saying. So the NBA just want to make money. But see, when it comes down to it, busy, when this girl that just that just was there that won his championship. You gonna see she's gonna go to a team that ain't really want nothing. So now you're gonna make money from that. When that arena starts yeah, selling tickets, they're gonna carry up the tickets because once she right. win one championship, she's gonna blow up. But, she's but gonna blow up and they're gonna make money. Get it. like they getting a lot of attention in college for them. They give it, and it makes sense. You can't really blow up the WNBA unless you give attention to the college players because then it's gonna be about the draft. Then you exactly. can't that's it. correct. So, so, then you so, go breathing. So, right. So if you, <laughs> then you go breathing. Right. So if you're talking about the business side of it, it, with college, you see these plays for four years sometimes. So that being yeah. said, why they in college playing that, you know, they build up a fan base. Then, you know what I'm saying? You see who's interested, where they do all of the business side of it, where they do the schematics, see where they should put it at and all that. And then they get to it. But case in point mm -hmm. is that that's the demographic that they at, on the business side that they're going to do. So it's not that the NBA is doing bad, but they kind of did when it, again, my thing is don't be redundant. You know what I mean? Don't, I don't want to see redundancy in it. And because, and you, and the reason why is because if you, if you're a student of the game, if you study the game, you know that this game is one of the fastest evolving games in the world. Craig okay. in the world. Okay, that's true, Breezy, but think about it, right? But think about it like this now. That's why I tell you, I sometimes stay up till like four or five in the morning and stuff, and I try to nitpick every every street of it every time. That's why when I come here, I like to give my input. Cause you know, I know um, your channel is like normally the one I always come in and, and talk because I like to um see you and JTV and Leaf and, and the whole crew. But uh but my thing is though, see Breezy, okay. If you bring the college, if you bring the woman in from college, right? Now, when this girl comes out, right, and she go there, do you think they could minimize the college from four years to now three to two years? Because now you get a more better prospect. Because now she said she said the she said the goal post high. So now when these people come in now to the to the to the college, they gonna minimize the years for four years. Now they gonna say, okay, now you know what? We gonna cancel this. We gonna take it to three to two years because now we got certain teams that need certain players to raise up the revenue of the thing. At the end of the day, it's marketing, basically. But now, I don't. 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 But I don't know okay, what it Leaf, is for I'm, women. I don't know. Uh, yeah. Okay, Leaf. I'm not saying. I'm not saying that she said the the goalpost high as far as her play. I'm just saying of the hype. That's all I'm saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, saying, the, the, yeah, for sure. I mean, look, yeah, the, yeah. That's I, what I'm I, saying. Yeah, yeah. I, I I agree with you in terms of the hype. Like in terms of her yeah. game, it's the, listen. In terms of her game translating on the on the pro level, that's that remains to be seen. You yeah, know that's saying? true. Because you. Cause you still, cause you still got, you still got stars in the WNBA, bro. Like, listen, man, they ready. 
and they ready to see her. They had it. They had a glimpse of seeing her for four years at Iowa. She played all four years. So the thing is, I think the thing that's going to help with her marketing a venue to me is almost the same thing like Magic and Bird. I think Angel Reese is going to help to help out with that. The fact that Angel Reese is being in, in this draft, you got Cameron Brink, you got um the the, the, the other girl. Um, Juju is still, she's still going to be in college, man. Oh, those are younger girls, man. Those are like freshmen, sophomore girls, whatever. But in terms of an Andrew Reese, I think the best thing that's going to happen to her is probably, uh, um, is probably Caitlin Clark. And K Caitlin Clark, the best thing that happened to her is probably going to be Andrew Reese. Because the thing is, it's an easy economy to sell, bro. The same thing with Burden. To me, when I looked at Caitlin Clark this year, bro, I basically saw Larry Bird in Indiana State. It was the same thing to me, bro. Like I'm, <laughs> I, I don't know what the difference was. Like they, they both marched to the all the way to the national championship game. They, they was basically a, a one man bandit. They needed help from their other teammates. They didn't get it, and then they lost. She lost two years in a row. But I think it, when she goes to the WNBA, that's going to be a different story because they, they, they're going to um, put they're going to put a lot of marketing venue around her. Or like they supposed to around her and Angel, her and Angel Reese rivalry, they're gonna continue to, to uh, push that along because there is a mm -hmm. rivalry there. You know what I'm saying? So, so okay. they, I think the best. I think that the, listen, the W. It, it's important for the WNBA to market this the right way. That that's what it's important for, for them to do. Okay, see, and Leaf. That's why I was going to tell you. That's why I was going to tell you all that. That's what they gonna try to do. That's what they're going to try to do with Dallas and Denver. They're going to try to build a rivalry in there. They're going to try to do that because both of them players are international. They're going to try to do that to bring revenue and marketing. That don't mean they're going to go to the finals because if you think about it, you remember, you remember back in, remember back in, remember back in uh, a couple years ago, you remember you had the Spurs against the, against the Mavs. Remember? Now, if you notice, the Spurs are rebuilding. Right? right and right. and and Houston are starting to 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 do their thing, right? So yes. what I'm saying they thing is that these teams, that's what I'm saying. Like, yes, you know, the Nets had a bad season, but busy. I'm not sweating. You got Cam Thomas, bro. You guys are gonna you guys are gonna be bright for years to come. That's what I'm. This, that's what I'm yeah. trying to tell you all. You are gonna right. you're gonna see right. two championships some more in your in your generation. You ain't got right, to worry. Right. Right, nah, nah. Mm -hmm. my thing is, uh, my thing is, right now, fans, we pretty much on anatomy. We we feel like that too. We feel the same way. But um, hold on, hold on, y'all. I just want to say, yo, we two hours in. Hopefully, y'all tapping that like button. Uh, hopefully, man. Uh, shout to the chat, W chat tonight. Uh, W stream, W panel. Shout to uh, Leaf Leonardo, Easy. Uh, and this is JTV. Everybody that was, you know what I'm saying. Uh, part of the panel tonight. I'm gonna close out soon, uh, but I definitely be back with more content. If y'all want to do a uh, episode or something, I'm following that that uh, that uh, that Drake response too. I ain't gonna hold you. That shit was that shit was fire. I think, uh, I think the Ross the the Ross response is probably um uh, they saying Ross is working on something else and um Kendrick is working on something else and then Drake going yeah, to Ross response was Yeah, yeah now nah, Ross response was like yeah. Uh, Hold on. Yeah, so again, yeah, I think right his response, his response. Um, I like, I like his response, man. I ain't gonna hold you. Um, but yeah, man, I'm gonna close out. <laughs> but I'm gonna probably do a podcast about that. But I'm gonna start the stream with it. Uh, shit, man, it's 82 games in, man. I recap my Iron Man vlogger. I recap every game. That shit was tough, man. Thirty and fifty-two, man. Shout out to all the fans that that you know what I'm saying that we rocked the whole way through, man. Shout out to the whole panel, you know what I mean? Shout out to LF. Shout out to all y'all for holding it down, man. That's why I be saying next fans is the best fans. That's a fact. Um, but yeah, man, this is this is this was good, man. But yeah, I'll be back with more content soon. You know, following the off season, following the playoffs. Um, hey, Ned, yeah. hey, Ned fans, this is what I got to say, right, Breezy? I, I just want to say this, man. You guys stay strong, bro. Don't let nobody bring you all down. Don't, don't sit there and feel <laughs> no type of way because you want me to tell you what? Let me tell you something, right? If you all learn one thing in 2023, 
And this year, you all learned one thing that the Lakers got, Lakers fans got exposed. If it's anything that you all learned, you all learned that they got exposed. Remember that. Just try, stay positive, and, and your time will come. You're going to win a championship. Most of you guys are going to see it. Don't worry about it. You know, everybody go through the dumb pains. You know what I'm saying? Look, I was a fan from Miami from 8990, right? When people were telling me, oh, yeah, we know what I left to the minute. Oh, that, that, nah, let's leave off with that last comment. That was good. Said we go win a championship, man. Shout to Leonardo. You know what I mean? Uh, yeah, All right. man. I leave with that. You are going to win. You are going to win two championships. <laughs> Don't worry, Breezy. You're going to see two championships in your lifetime. Don't worry uh, about it. You win. I appreciate you. Right. Appreciate you. Shout to Leonardo. Yep. Shout to This Is JTV. He make beats sometime. Now I'm saying we're gonna get into it. Um, we supposed to put something together. Um, we'll be back with that soon. So yeah, we got more content. Uh, pretty soon, man. Look for it this week. Sometime this week. I uh, see y'all soon, man. Peace. All right, y'all take care. Have a great night. Everybody, hold it down. And remember, spend time with your family. All right. Take care. Yeah. Hi, Lee. JTV, everybody. TV. Yep. Yo, Jay, go ahead. Tell him your Hindu or put your Hindu in the chat so that, you know what I mean, this is JTV in the chat and put it in the, in the comments. It's my time, man. You watch me like a can, cause it's my time switch. They can't guard me, especially side the Barclays. It's been twin crosses, so I can score with both hands. Many flawless, and I get to paint like an artist. I'm a bar smith, so you should respect my handle. I see the big picture with the nets like a mantle. In the future, I see us as champs too. And when we do, I'ma do a Brooklyn dance move. The third and whole Millie rock like a fan do. And that's a bet like my parlay on fan do. Okay, L Y N P R O O K L Y N P R O O K L Y N P R O O K L Y N P R O O K L Y N P R O O K L Y N P R O O K L Y N P R O O K L Y N P R O O K L Y N P R O O K L Y N P R O O K L Y N P R